All right, we'll get back to it then. Outer Loper still on a third attempt, and yeah, I think we're past outtake territory. Then again, it just takes one nasty bear or moose attack to make it all crumble down. Let's get back to our shop, remind us where we are, and get ourselves ready for more. So we've actually stopped some shells. Tins of coffee, tea, canned goods, a single bag of ketchup chips, a single can opener. The drug department is one of the more fleshed out ones. We even have a Go Energy drink, which I'm not sure ever normally spawns on Interloper, but we found one anyway. It's the same I would like to think about this fire log, and hey, you can look all the way through it. This was two kilograms of useless, but we brought it back to the shop just because we wanted it right on display. It's right there next to our little tips can. So, we've got a long way to go. We only have a few things, especially only a few bunch of clothes. And I want a whole lot more. Oh yeah, speaking of clothes, these socks are just about to die. So I'm actually going to take them off and hope that they survive a bit longer if I just leave them here. I think, like that, they should be able to last quite a long time in here. Maybe, maybe. I'll be able to find some wool and get them uh, get them better. Not wool, cloth, to get some repairs done. So, what do we need to do now? Well, I need to get a whole lot more hides and things curing up here so that I can actually make some goodies. It would be nice to make some proper rabbity gloves. The hat I don't think I need because toques are really good and I've got two of them. But these work gloves aren't very good, whereas uh, rabbit mittens are. And I certainly want some deer trousers, and I'll need more more hides, more guts, just more everything. And this, our single green sapling, is the key to getting going on the archery, which I do hope to do at some point. Are you going to repair the clothes you're selling to a good condition? Yes, Luminous. I do intend on doing that. So we will be allowing ourselves the looting of indoor places to tear down their curtains, but the cloth can only be used for clothes that we put on display. So I couldn't just uh, fix these ruined sports socks and then wear them and go, ha ha, it's fine, you know, I found these originally. We're not, this challenge is here to make the game harder and to give us a good goal, not to just cheese it so that we can make our way forward as much as possible. Right, what do I want to do? I want to lighten my load and I want to go, if we check the world map, from Coastal Highway through Crumbling Highway to Desolation Point. And I would ideally like to make this one journey where we loot everything, including indoor stuff, and bring it all back. So I want to leave with a very light load and I want to really stock the shop up. So we'll be grabbing some stuff for ourselves, hopefully but uh, also going indoors for things from shops, meaning I'm going to have to take note of that. I do have a pen. I don't actually have any paper. Well, none that I'd willing to write on. I don't want to write all over my insurance documents, for example. Um, but what I do need to do is leave some stuff behind. I think a good way to remember is that in the lockers, we're storing stuff that uh, is ours and not the shops. So I have way too much coal, and I think there's loads of coal where I'm going. So I'm going to transfer all but two of it. Uh, I have a ton of cattail stocks. This stuff doesn't even go off, so I think I'll store about 30 of them here for now. What else do I have and I want to leave behind? Stuff that I don't think I'm going to need. See this heavy hammer? I don't think I'm going to need the heavy hammer where I'm going, so let's just leave it on display here. I'm going to need this thing when I'm forging. And that's when we make a trip out to Forlorn Muskeg. The only place that we can go forging is Forlorn Muskeg. Otherwise... You now, keep carrying around this toolbox and never use it. The thing weighs a kilo. I'm not really sure it's worth our time. Especially since I don't have stuff that I really need to repair here. So I might just keep the tools here and then do some repair work whenever I come back. I need to keep my load as light as possible. Even so, I want to keep this cooking pot. It's really handy, even though it weighs a kilo. Um, what else could I reasonably get rid of? Oh yeah, man, I got a lot of sticks. Perhaps even too many sticks. I'll be picking up sticks all the way along, surely. So why don't I just ditch 20 of them here? Uh, I like all my tea ingredients. I like that stim. Good for emergencies. Um, I like my herbal tea, and it's very light, so I don't have a problem keeping that. <laughs> I don't have a lot of water. I'll have to make some as I go along. 
I have a lot of sticks as usual, uh, torches rather, as usual. Some of them really, really good. Some of them so good I don't even really want to use them. I'll leave these amazing torches in here. Uh, no, keep an amazing torch on you. Uh, I like having stones on me regardless of everything else. And these feathers, I'm not ever going to need until I make arrows. And I'll probably be making arrows back here. So that saves half a kilo by storing them in here. And now we're only carrying 17 kilos, which still feels like quite a lot. I've never been so hungry in my life. Quit your complaining, Shepard. I suppose I'm wearing quite a bit. Even so, it feels like quite a lot. Mm. Oh well, what can you do? I suppose this lantern and this hacksaw is uh, being a fair bit. Right, I need to stock up on... Oh crikey, well there goes all my water. But anyway, eat the water. I'm probably going to carbo load on some cattails and then head on out. Unless I find something. Actually, what's it like outside? Mm. We're going to shove our face full of cattails regardless though. Because I want to maintain well fed. How's Japan been so far? It's been great. Today might have even been the uh, best day so far in terms of what I'm here to do. I'm here to see if I want to live here or not. And I was at Omihachi Man, or Omihachi Men, I forget. But it was the first place I've been to here that's really made me think, wow, I could live here quite happily. You know, based on a few hours of pottering around, but it made a very good, strong initial impression to me. Alright, that might be a much, bit much, but that's what we're stocking up on. And, and, and... I would like to sleep, but we're not allowed to sleep inside the store. Uh, is there anything else that I truly want on me? I already have one whole... Uh, I think I've got one whole flare on me. Tell me I still have a flare. I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, there we go. Marine flare for just in case things get a little out of hand out there. So, let's go. And in fact, before we even go, I should actually plan what my journey is even going to be. Crumbling Highway doesn't really have anywhere good for me to stop and rest up while I'm there. Um, but it is a great time of day to be moving. Being tired isn't going to be a big deal for us because we have such good carrying capacity. So I think I'm just going to make the trek down as far as I can through Crumbling Highway... And if I can get to the coal mine at the end of Crumbling Highway, I can happily sleep there. So let's just hope we don't run into too many problems on the way. We're quite fast because we're so light. The main hope is that we don't run into any wolves that want to ruin my day. If I do, I can always just give them the old torch to the face treatment. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty fast. It's not very cold. Hell, it's only minus seven, so I don't feel pressured to start running or anything. And if it gets real bad, well, there's no problem just sitting down and lighting a fire. We might not be drowning in matches. How many matches do we have? I'm going to guess 19 or 20 or 21. We have 21. Not bad. Those matches are there to be used, not hoarded. We've already put our matches out on display in our shop. So every, every other match we find now can be used. Unless, of course, we find it indoors. That is verboten. Uh, I wonder if that wolf wants a piece of me. I don't want it to want a piece of me. I wonder if I can spook the wolf. Though he didn't seem to give two hoots about that. Let's try again. Oh, I think he heard it and then decided he wanted a piece of me. Yeah, he really did. Could always outrun it. I don't want to waste a match right now. I said I didn't want to run, but now let's just try and get some distance on old Wolfie boy. He's running. Oh, no, he's not running now. I 
I don't know if breaking line of sight helps in any way with that, but even so. You can really hear that clopping of the um, the special shoes we have on now. I'll need to make water, uh, make a fire at some point just to get some water going. And I'm not... Oh, 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 hello, hello, hello. Crow feathers, crow feathers, crow feathers. Even more crow feathers, dead body. Give me some socks, man. Oh, my God, they never... I swear they just never have anything on them, do they? Why are they why are they even here? Well, I'm not sure if it was a line of sight thing, but we did evade the wolf. Not a lot of uh gumption on that wolf, though he gave up way too easy. Reminds me of my own dog. My dog is a coward. I would never never trust him to uh defend me. His name is Thunder. I haven't seen him in a while, though. Last time I would have seen him was uh, last summer. I'll go and visit him this summer. It's only fair. An old fire indicating that we've been here. Since it's right up against here, I can only assume that I had it because of uh, a nasty bit of wind. You can break down the fires that you made. I don't know you get anything out of it, but uh, can be done regardless. Kind of a quick look over here, even though I'm sure I've been here before. I want to check again. I don't know if corpses respawn. I don't see any crows, so I doubt there's one here. Uh, there are, however, rabbits here. We do like the rabbits, George. Come to me, rabbit friend. Can't feel my hands. Well, that rabbit can't feel anything, so uh, it's all relative, Shepard. Uh-oh. Right. Well, don't don't fear. I do, however, now the 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 wolf knows that I uh that I stink. But I just want to get somewhere where there's uh, no wind, start a fire. I do need to make some water and I might even take the opportunity to get this rabbit off my back. Is this is this sheltered? This isn't sheltered. Seriously? Is the wind coming from this direction? I guess so. There we go. The wolf will be coyed by the fire, so that's fine. Although, I think I threw my only remaining stone, so it might be hard to make him sawed off. cold is it? It's not cold at all, so I'm just going to add a few sticks. And you buzz off, okay? Uh, cooking pot. I actually really need water. Could I get a liter of... Nah, make it a half liter of water. I don't think I'm going to be here for long. plan on being here for long. Uh, this is not warming up me up much at all, though. Uh, right. In that case, I'll just add some sticks, because I'm pretty confident we'll find more of those. Drop this rabbit so that no one gets any funny ideas. And, uh, well, that's not a lot of rabbit meat at all. Even so, let's hack it off. And I'm going to be tempted to take more out of the rabbit. It's hide and guts, for example. But if I'm ever going to do that, I should do it on the way back to the shop, not here. So I'll just leave the old carcass for now. You'll be boiled in a few minutes. I don't think I have anything to make to pass the time. Although I wouldn't mind uh, at least grabbing a... Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, that's right. He, he can smell me because of the meat, can't he? Right, well, take the water and cook the, uh... Whoa! Cowed by fire, they say. He didn't give a hoot. Bleeding. 
He he messed me up. I'd eat snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Yeah, you're not wrong. Right, let's grab that. Wow, that did a ton of damage as well. Uh, I don't know if it damaged anything in particular. Uh, we also have an infection risk, two of them. Fortunately, I have two antiseptics, but that was rough. All right, 18, 18 minutes until you're ready. Let's make a bit more... A bit more of that. I need a stone so that I can... Oh, I had a stone. I should have just spooked the uh, the wolf there. But that that's a little worrying. That's a lot worrying, actually. I'm going to drink some birch bark to get some uh, some warmth and some condition back. Because you, you see how much damage he did to me condition-wise? It just evaporated what I had. Scary. Glad I had the pry bar to try and scare him away, though. Yeah, maybe they need line of sight to the fire. It wouldn't surprise me too much. Alright. Get me that delicious rabbit. I'll just eat it as is. Gotta be well fed, you know. And let's heat up some birch bark tea. I'll add a couple more sticks so I can take a torch out of this thing later on. Oh yeah, all my all my blood around me here. Man, we went this whole way without a wolf attack and he just snuck up on me. But that ex well, that kind of explains it because I know I've had this before being attacked by a wolf next to a fire. And it was uh I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna drink this right now, I think. Glug, glug, glug. Drink even more delicious potable water for now. I have teas if the need arises. Six minutes till you're ready. Just gimme, gimme, gimme. That's not a great one. And if I shove on a stick, I can take another one. And let's get going. Okay, so coming over here ended up being uh, quite unfortunate for us. Dang. And we've still got a ways to go. Um, I wanted to sleep in the uh, in the mine, and I might still sleep. Well, I might still make it all the way to the mine to sleep there, but it means I can't keep getting distracted by every stick I see. Every stick I see. See, I saw one back there, and I ignored it. Jenks, man, my poor condition. We had it all the way up, and it just got ravaged like that. That wolf was playing to win. I'm glad we took care of the uh, infection risks and stuff, but that tells me that if it comes to pass again, I really need to have... Um, I really need to have more to handle infections. I don't actually know what infection does. Does anybody know? It's not deadly, is it? Besides, it's only infection risk. Surely that means that it's not guaranteed killing me, right? But again, I don't know, and I would love it if anybody did know and could tell me. I need to find some more of those old man beard things to harvest, though, because those can... Those are some lovely natural healing. I don't know if you saw it or not, but I got an achievement for doing lots of natural healing. There's a torch down there. I forget whether it's game capture or window capture that shows overlay that would let you see achievements. God, yeah, I can't be stopped. I'm just a stick harvesting madman. But I see sticks and I want sticks. I'm sure we already checked this. I'm positive as well. Yeah, yeah, of course I did. But what I didn't do was pop the hood. There's no battery, unfortunately. And I've checked the trunk as well. 
Right, onwards to Crumbling Highway. We have not been at Crumbling Highway yet this run. Uh, let's also make sure that we have three stones. Three is a good number for stones. I'm relatively familiar with Crumbling Highway. It's on the way to Desolation Point, a place that I certainly am quite familiar with. But, uh, given, given my low condition now, I'm gonna keep the fire burning. I was hoping to make good headway without needing to keep the torch going, but now I certainly will. Too dangerous to have, uh, have a hefty journey without it. Is there even an infinite source of anti-infection stuff? The natural stuff doesn't regrow, but I think antiseptic can turn up on beachcombing. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. If somebody is more sure, then by all means let us know. There's a list of what can be beachcombed uh, conveniently assembled on the Long Dark Wiki, so anybody could help us out by going and checking that. Is the shop near a beach? The shop is near a beach. Beachcombing is an option. Uh, speaking of options, there's a dead thing here. If it's an animal, which it is, we're going to be eating heartily. And we're even protected from the wind here, so let's get that stick going. I see dead animal, I consume dead animal. It's too good an opportunity to pass by. Dead thing sounds like it's guarded by a living thing. Not my problem. Well, actually, it could very easily Turned become my problem. Well. Since water is a bit of an issue, I'm going to cook up uh, some water, if you could, please. And also, let's just put that out. Add some sticks. We like sticks. Wow, what's with all the... What's with all the animals? Still feels really cold here, actually. I'm just going to dump a lot of sticks on. I might be here for a while. Lots of sticks means lots of temperature, as long as the wind doesn't come and blow that out. And there we go, just a small amount of water. You'll get it done nice and quickly. Meanwhile, I will rip the meat off of this thing. Hacksaw makes it nice and quick. That's not very quick. That's a whole hour right there. And you're 80% frozen, so I can't uh, rip it off with my bare hands. It takes longer with a hacksaw, sadly. Not sure I'll take it, though, although I could leave it in the mine to cure and then grab it on the way back. Hmm, that's not a terrible idea, actually. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, if I feel like passing an hour here, which I do. Alright, how about this then? I'll do this, and then I will take that hide. This will take an hour, a bit of a painful hour, but we do it anyway. Good thing I put all those sticks on. Delicious venison. Restore condition is over, so I'm going to re-cook up this birch bark tea. We've got the water, and I'm going to do another, hmm, yeah, I'm going to boil the water that we melted there. Actually, I don't want to heat that up just yet. I do want the guts, though. 30 minutes. Let's take one gut for 30 minutes. I hope that fire is going to keep going. Yeah, the fire is fine. Do another little bit of water. Little bit of water. Oh god, I thought it was an aurora kicking in. Get out of here. An aurora would be a big problem for me right now. Okay. 
It is an Aurora. That is a big problem. Huge problem. I don't even know what I left behind, but uh, Aurora Wolves are not scared of fire. Hmm. What can I do about that then? I can't really take uh, shelter indoors anywhere. Okay, 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 okay. I think I'm actually going to cower in fear in the car that's next to this place. And Aurora is way too deadly at my low condition. I didn't take uh, fire, I was too spooked by the dog. I just had to run. Hope he doesn't eat those guts I left behind. Oh, it's an Aurora here as well, that's cool. Kind of thirsty. Feels like minus nine, and that's not even wind chill talking. Right. Feels like minus four in here, actually. We're almost warm if we sleep inside the um, sleep inside the bedroll. Unfortunately, the bedroll's just a little bit not warm enough. I might. Well, it'd be nice to have a good long sleep, but it's risky long sleeping in here where it's not very warm. I really want to have my good proper sleep inside the coal mine, but this Aurora is going to last all night. Just make a fire in the driver's seat. We could make a fire outside and then be relatively safe here. Or we could just run away from the wolves in, uh, wolves in the next area. What I think I'll do is I'll drink my not warm birch bark tea. Just to keep uh, condition flowing. And then, and then, and then... I think I'll try again in Crumbling Highway and just leg it through Crumbling Highway. Hmm... It's not without its risks. Not without its risks, but I want to try. Yeah, cool, the lights are going on. Check the Aurora Cave. It's miles away from here. Not to mention there are all those wolves between here and the Aurora Cave. It's like minus 10, so that warmth of ours is going down relatively quickly. I could always chug a coffee if I get too tired to run, and I ha I do have the good old emergency stim to truly leg it, but ideally we just don't run into the wolves at all. I don't like leaving those guts behind, but I like dying even less. Peeled. It's a deadly place to be. Oh no 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 no! Aurora Wolf wants a piece of me. Just gonna have to set a fire next to that um, next to that car and sleep sleep my problems away. Look at that Aurora Wolf. He's already coming for me. He's mysteriously glowing. The problem is I won't be able to sleep for a good long time in the car because I need to I need to do it slowly and keep an eye on the temperature. You know, if the wind whips up and blows out my fire, the car's gonna rest. cool down real fast. I believe it is possible to get stuck in the Aurora mine. Right, that seems all well and good right now. Let's just Grab our torch, light our torch, bye bye yet another match, and light a fire right next to you. Oh boy, I don't have a lot of bur a lot to burn, but I'll burn my coal and my cedar wood. 
I'll probably sleep two hours at a time, or thereabouts. Never felt so cold in my life. I know, I know, we all have problems. That did it. So, yeah, I know, I know, pretty cold. Have that firewood, have that coal. Put on a cooking pot. And that. Cooking pot, do us a litre of water. You do us a half litre of water. We'll come in here and just snooze for an hour. How close are we to completing this challenge? A million miles away? We are not close. No way, no how. Oh, well, there's that uh, wind picking up that I was talking about. But it doesn't appear to be affecting our... Uh, our fire here, which is good. So how long is this fire going? Another hour? Alright, well, another hour of kip I have. I'm leaving through the other door in the car, just in case I accidentally step in my own fire and uh, burn my leg. I could do without the condition loss or the effect. I like water. I like water a lot. I also like having lots of... Yeah, I mean, I just gotta wait out this aurora largely. Or, well, I mean, I don't want to. I'm stuck here for quite a long time, and this fire won't last forever. I think the aurora lasts all night. <laughs> Timing this just right to get all of this, uh, all this water. I gotta shove on my other bit of coal here. Maybe not my last stick, I like sticks. It does last all night, right? I don't have a lot of experience with auroras, but I assume it does. This is giving me a little bit of condition, but uh, I'd like a lot more. That wolf really did a number on me. I, I'm kind of in, in awe at just how much damage it did. Not a lot left of my campfire here. Hmm... I do still have a birch bark tea. And a coffee. I could warm them up, chug the birch bark, chug the cup of coffee and see about rushing through. You know, maybe this time the wolves won't come and get a piece of me. Actually, what I could also do is, you know, from the safety of my vehicle at least, Harvest you. An Aurora Wolf didn't get me, but a regular one certainly did. Got me good. Did uh, probably over 50% condition damage to me, which just seems a huge amount. Not that I'm that bitter, but I'm a little bitter. Did the trousers survive? I didn't actually check the damage that we took on our clothes. I'm not even sure we took any. Everything looks to be about as good as we left it. Right, unsure what to do here. There's still a fair bit of night left. You know what? I might just go into the vehicle have a kip for an hour and then see how warm it is after that hour. And if we're starting to take actual cold damage then we'll need to reassess. Oh yeah, we certainly did. It is cold here. And the aurora, you better believe it, is still going. And I've run out of things to reasonably burn to stay warm now. Oh boy, it is cold. 
Real cold. Alright, well, I'm gonna drink my birch bark tea just to get restore condition, if anything else. I'm pretty low on ideas here, actually. This Aurora is quite deadly. And what do I have? Like, one stick to start a fire with? Don't know why it feels the need to keep telling me about my sure footing. I'm quite self-assured of my sure footing. problems. There was an animal there. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, a wolf though. Hypothermic risk is unpleasant to have right now. Die if I don't warm up oh yeah, Christ. Actually, this is becoming a real problem. How in the world do I... How in the world do I get out of this pickle? I don't have anything to burn. And now we're taking some real cold damage. Maybe I find some stuff to burn? Oh, I don't know. I already grabbed all the sticks and stuff around here, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, that's not saying I can't just grab some sticks off of this, but that won't be warm enough to... or that won't be enough to warm up. Actually, what's the... what's the temperature in here? Feels like minus 12, oh jings. Right, if nothing else, I can at least warm up a cup of tea and use that to warm up. So, somewhat regrettably, I'm going to start another fire here. burning through my matches here, but this is to keep me alive. Start a fire, use a stick. No, we're not taking charcoal to start a, uh, a map, thank you. Torches burn pathetically, Jimmy C, but they can be harvested for sticks. But all my torches are really good. Harvesting them for sticks would be a waste. Don't need tinder. I have skills enough not to need to care about that. Right, T... Tea. My precious, precious stick. But yeah, even inside here, it is too cold. I'm still getting restored condition at least, but uh, this is rough. Rough, rough, rough. Oh well, nibble on some cattails to make myself feel better. This is probably because I stopped to harvest that carcass. I should have just kept going to the coal mine. Well, I couldn't have known there was going to be an aurora. Right, just chug that rosehip tea for the warmth, because I desperately need the warmth right now. And I'm going to take the racial tea. And I think I might even drink the racial tea as well. Although I could, uh, could warm up my coffee too, just in case. This is... Whoa! Almost walked right into that. Yeah, take my, take my last stick. Um, yeah, drink my racial tea as well, just to warm up. And I'll lose less heat from in here. The coffee I don't think will burn out there. So what I'll do is I will just rest for, for an hour. So it feels like minus 10, I'm going to lose all my heat in an hour. And it's not much of a... I could pass time if not sleeping. Okay, surely not much left of this Aurora. This coffee is still hot. I'm going to drink it just because it is warm. Running back to the store means running through uh, potential 
nasty wolves, though, which is why I'm not so keen on that. But the, uh, yeah, the temperature problems here are unreal. Can't even make some rose hips. Alright, just, just try and warm... Well, you're not going to warm up, you're going to lose warmth in here, but... I will need to make a break for it soon. Mm, just hemorrhaging heat here. What the heck do I even do? Um, well, well, here comes hypothermia. Worst case scenario, I can take the stim just to leg it through here, but I don't like that idea either. <laughs> Light the car on fire. Tempting. Mm, it's beginning to be tempting. Scary Aurora should be over soon. But, uh, my life will be over soon at this rate. Sees me. Aurora Wolf does not like me. Get into car. A note, huh? Something, something, something. Thank you. Anything to warm me up in here? No oh, figures. Boy, it is cold. At least I have food and drink. If I can just make it to the coal mine, I can get my condition and warmth back, but... I don't think those wolves out there want me to make it to the coal mine. And I am hemorrhaging condition here. Hemorrhaging it like mad. Stim will give me 15% back if needed. Well, I can at least have this at the ready if it comes to it. I know, I know, you're getting real tired. Me too. And I'm passing by all these sticks that I really want to. Passing by a lot of resources I want, honestly. I'll take a single stick. There's the cave that I'm going for. is kindly reminding me that the wolves still want to chew on my greasy gizzards. I'll take this crafty shortcut. And the sooner I get into that cave, the happier I'll be. Ah, please be warm. It is, it is warm in here. Whoa. All right, coal, coal, coal. We will restore a bit of condition in here. We're gonna go to the end of this mine. And we are going to sleep. We're going to sleep as much as we can and get as much condition back as we can. Because that was a terrible segment. And it wasn't really anything special. Truly. Stuff's lighting up here, but I'd rather have better light so I can see. Although, actually, while I'm here... Tearing apart this crate for wood... 
four bits of reclaimed wood is a nice bit of fire, but no, there's going to be coal here. I shouldn't need that. I think you have enough time to grab a few sticks, <laughs> somewhat. I'm going to want that metal shelf on the way back from... Actually, I might want it now. Two hours, 15 minutes, a lot of calories. I do want to be very tired so that I can uh, rest up a lot, actually. I think I might just carve this thing up. Where, where'd it go? Especially if I carbo load before I do so. Because I need metal for the uh, forging that I'm going to do soon enough. And metal's hard to come by because I can't go into man-made structures for it. But we're in a mine here, which is A-OK, -okay, at least by my book. So if I just chew on these a fair bit and then carve this thing up, it is plenty warm enough, so I'm confident in doing this. Definitely going to be chopping off one of our own fingers here, but why not? There we go. And now we got ourselves a ton, hopefully. Oh yeah, this fresh deer hide. And I forgot my... Um, uh, I'm going to harvest you while I'm here. I forgot my guts, but hopefully those guts will still be there and I get them on the way back. Right. Uh, I'm going to completely forget this, even if it's right there, I'm sure. Hopefully somebody can yell at me when we're, when we're on our way back. But also, where's that? Where's the scrap metal? There we go. Drop all of that. That's going to be great for forging, so good find. Didn't you leave your hammer fine? Yes, but we're not doing the forging over here. We're going to be doing the forging uh, a while... Well, potentially tonight. Depends how it goes, but I want to get it back over to Forlorn Muskeg to do that. Okay, thank goodness. Coal. Yeah, I would have been a lot better if I hadn't ditched all my coal and sticks on the way over. I just did not expect I'd have to camp out an Aurora right from the get-go. Uh, I would have been happy to deal with that Aurora if I hadn't gotten wolfed already. But the fact that I had gotten wolfed right next to my bleeding campfire meant that I was probably just one wolf, probably still am, one wolf encounter away from death. And I don't like being one wolf encounter away from death. Especially not during an Aurora. Alright, these mines are a wonderful source of coal. We see coal, we grab coal. Nothing wrong with just leaving it behind in the store. Didn't expect you to fall this hard for a game. But this is this is how I operate, Bane. I get obsessed with the game, play it to death, and then move on. And I will eventually move on from this, just not right now. Ooh, nice. Now that food would be good in an emergency, but I really want it for my shop. Three hours, eight scrap metal. Tempting, but I'll pass. I can always come back for this, that in the future. For the time being, the scrap metal we have should be fine. Although, there is a great temptation to uh, repair my hacksaw. But if I had tools, that would go a lot better. You know, it requires tools, actually. We've got tools back at the base. I could repair that hacksaw. I'll consider it later. Alright, lovely, lovely coal. Ooh, lovely, lovely pry bar, unfortunately. It's a 48 condition. Our existing pry bar is much better. However, I do want that pry bar for the store, so I'm going to grab it. Can anybody check how many pry bars I'm meant to have for my store? How many did I put on my list? I can always ditch the one that I currently have towards the end to call it a full stop take. Nothing saying I can't drop things that I use a lot of in the store. Pry bar, slightly used, 10% off. Two, okay, then we have all the pry bars we need, assuming that we drop them both off in the store. Not happening right now, of course, but could. Grab coal, grab coal. Oh, didn't I bring herbal tea? Herbal tea would help me heal up a lot as I sleep. But I'm not sure I want to commit to a fire for that. Oh, come on, it's one match in exchange for potentially living. It's a good deal. Especially since Desolation Point is dangerous. I know that you can get a moose there, bears there, wolves there. Yeah, it's not called Prosperity Point, is it? Uh, 
hold the phone there. There we go. Now you can go off. Dunk. Take a look around. Ooh, I need dusting sulfur for the store. And yeah, I did just use my bandages and staying alive, so that's nice as well. Okay, I want to sleep here. Uh, I... Mm, I don't want to, but I might be eating these salty crackers just to stay alive right now. Well, not stay alive, but my calorie count is a bit too low. Yeah, I won't eat the ketchup chips, but these crackers are going into my belly. And I think I'll be even eating my beloved cattails. Mm, more. Just chomp them down. We left loads of cattails back at the uh, the shop. And slake our thirst. I did make nine liters of water after all. And then we're just going to sleep here for eight whole hours, unless I really want that. Well, I can't start a fire here, can I? Uh, I could, however, start a fire outside, make my tea, and then come back in. It would only cost one match. Well, as long as it's nice outside, I think I will do that. There's a lot of reasons to want to start fires out here, but uh, I do have my herbal tea, right? Yeah, I got my herbal tea, right. In that case, it's really nice out, isn't it? Well, it's minus 22, which isn't great, but other than that, it's really nice out, isn't it? Okay, here we go. I always light my torch before lighting my fire, because if you fail to light a fire with a match, then you lose the match. But you will always guaranteed light your torch with a match. And the torch can be used multiple times. Well, until it burns out, you could keep making fires with it, as long as you have the initial makings. Right. I need just one little stick here. And we're going to cook some herbal tea. We're going to cook some birch bark, because I really want my condition back. We'll make both of these. Notice that the birch bark's been done faster because it's in my fancy pot. Yeah, do I have more teas to make? I'm a little short on teas now because I drank them all, so I think I will add another stick. Decadent though it may be. Are there any more sticks around here? Oh, the good stick. Good stick always there for me. It's cold as sin here, so I don't want to hang around too long. Come on, birch bark. There we go. Now let's also cook more birch bark. And let's also cook Can't some feet. rose hip. That'll be done in 11 minutes. We'll be done in 6. Give me that. Um... Yeah, I don't want to take more damage here than necessary. However, I do need to drink this stuff anyway, don't I? So actually, I will cook up another bit of herbal tea. And I'll drink my existing one. That'll give me warmth. That's about all I can do. This stuff's almost gone. Yoink, yoink. Thank you, campfire. And now we have improved rest. You'll recover more condition per hour of rest. Good, because I'm going to be resting a lot here, thanks to that wolf attack. Eight hours, please. Because if I sleep more than eight hours, I lose uh, condition from becoming dehydrated. Hmm. Jake likes Frostpunk and the Lock Dark. Maybe he has a thing for snow. I have a thing for good games. Right. That was nice and all. Oddly enough, I could sleep for even longer. Should I sleep for even longer? I mean, night is here. No escaping the fact that night is here, though. Um, there's another coal mine that I could saunter over to and sleep some more in, and I would like to grab some stuff along the way. So let's just pick you up for now. 
Drink another birch bark to restore more condition because I still don't like where I am in terms of condition. And let's go and do what we can, despite it being night time here in... Whoa, before we do that... We don't necessarily want everything that we have on us as we go through here. We're at 31 kilos already. So we're going to go into here and we're going to shove in a lot of this coal. 21 bits of coal? Uh, 19 bits of this coal. Was there anything else I found here that I don't think I'm going to want to carry through? Ketchup chips for one. This dusting sulfur. Stuff that I'm basically just bringing back for the store. This pry bar. <laughs> Maybe some of this water. Man, limited capacity in here, isn't there? Um, but I can always just ditch water wherever for now, though. I don't think it's the worst idea to just throw away three liters of water into this uh, this drawer. And now I'm down to 21, and four and a half of that is a fairly not-so-useful water, which I could slake my thirst with a bit more. All right, here we go. Desolation point. Wait, why is it so bright? I suppose... Night is only just coming now. Right. Right, right. Oh, I spy something good already. What did we recently run out of? And I was saying we need more as insurance. That's right, it's more of old man beard stuff. Lichen, really. Two of these can be fashioned into something to prevent infection risk. Funnily enough, though, it's a lot lighter before you make it into a bandage, so maybe I should not be making the bandages just to optimize my carrying capacity that white that uh, one wolf attack though and it w it was over in a second that wolf uh, got mangled hard by our pry bar he still did so much damage and gave us two bleeds and two infection chances and actually that's a big problem if i end up unable to bandage myself because bleeding does a lot of condition damage would you believe? I'm a little light on food as well. I should strongly consider strongly consider finding something to eat. Or finding someone to eat. Some little bunnykin with my name on it. Or some little dead corpse similarly with my name on it. For now though, I'm just grabbing this lichen. Good find here. I should run though. We're a little chilly. Feels like minus 12. Oh, well, there's more here. Mm, no, that wasn't a stick. It's just strangely always facing you 2D bits of grass. Reminds me of Draken, but almost everything reminds me of Draken. Draken's on my mind. Hack, hack. If you don't know the game Draken, then consider yourself lucky. It's more of a curse than anything else. These birch trees. Am I going to find birch bark here? I love me the birch bark. Oh, I also like uh, cars that I can loot. Mm, I think I'll loot that car on the way out. Uh, I might have something good in it now. Mm, yeah, let's go check it out. Seemed more en route for the way out. No car battery, nothing in the back. And. It's pretty warm in here. If my um, bedroll wasn't so crummy, I could actually take a nap in there, but my bedroll is rather crummy and it's getting crummier by the hour because I'm using it so much. Get loads of sticks. I don't know if I'm going to need some fire around here. For warming up, I intend on sleeping in the abandoned mine, which is nearby. So I'm not too worried about getting cold. And I'm not too worried about using energy, because all of that will be restored well. The food is a concern. I'm actually out of food completely. And I can't think of any easy food to get around here. There are my teas, and teas have saved me before, but... Unlike before, I don't have a bottomless amount of tea, because we're not in the uh, completely unlived-in areas like Trash Canyon and Timberwolf. My fingers feel numb. Which, and this is a nice part of the game, There's, they are not lived in, so they have plenty of natural resources, because it's not been picked clean by society or cleared away. 
Oh, speaking of picking things clean, I think we'll be biting this one down to the bone. Hello, my friend. Ravaged with a kilo. Right, well, I'm starting a fire for you. Uh, grab you, light you. How cold is it, by the way? Feels like not that cold at all. So let's just start our wee fire. One bit of coal and a few sticks, and this should be keeping us very good. It is indeed time for Dindin's Trolling Ninja. The game says hypothermic risk, but really it's just... Uh, too cold to think. It's just exaggerating. All right. Right. Put this torch out. It's still not too shabby. Add a bit of coal. Add a little bit of stick magic. When in doubt, make water. Water is always good. Actually, no. I might want that for um, for something else. Is there anything else I can make? Cook up some birch bark, perhaps. Mmm, birch bark. We're warming up slightly, so let's grab this meat. Just tear that stuff out. Hypothermic risk is gone. We're warming up. And let's use the cooking pot to cook up our dindins. I'll just take that as is. 39 minutes till you're ready, huh? It's a shame you're still so frozen. I wouldn't mind grabbing your guts and things and storing it in the mine, which I'm quite certain is right here. I might actually do that. What if I just take a gut? No one will begrudge me a gut. I'm going to stink on the way back, so I need to make sure that I have um, fire and not traveling during Aurora time next time. The sound effects in this game are so good. How in the world did they make them so good? It's beyond me. There we go. Sadly, no more stuff to be had out of you, but one can always make use of water. I'll just tear this out. Your guts are forfeit, friend. Boiling dry, boiling dry. Cook water. Cook water. Give me those guts. It's easier to do by hand than with a hacksaw for some reason. Oh, are you going to last? You might, but you might not. There we go. I knew it would last. The amount of time it said that it needed was lying to me. Uh, where are we, though? We're a bit through the night. I'm going to add another stick. Actually, I'm going to add a few sticks. I'm going to start taking some torches. Because I've been plowing through my good torches lately. Oh, wow, you are not even worthy of the name Torch. That must have been a 20-condition torch or so. It was savagely bad. Mm, just a little bit more. Give me that. Oh, what another crappy torch, but oh well. It's no big deal. I mean, it's quite... It's not even that cold. Lovely night. Uh, there is a mine here, right? I'm certain there's a mine. Probably like most of the time, I just can't see it for looking at it. it leaves three liters of water behind and makes more water. It's a good idea. See, the thing is, if I have extra water, I can just dump it on the ground. It'll always be there, always be drinkable. No problemo. But, if I run out of water, well, it's quite the commitment to sit down, make a fire, and uh, use that fire just for making water. Whereas if I have a fire for something else already, like in this case, making uh, making my food, or defrosting the car uh, carcass, then I'm simply wasting that fire if I don't also take the opportunity to make water with it. Right, uh, I think I am actually just going to rest up in the mine for now. I'm not that tired, but it would be nice to be doing this exploring during daytime. Even so, I think I'll run around a bit to tire myself out to touch, even though that comes at the expense of more calories being expended. And we're not made of calories right now, we have no spare food. But I do want to check out the church here. 
which is blown open, so it does not count as a man-made warmth bonus giving structure. Largely because it doesn't give a warmth bonus. Well, I don't think it does. Anyway, it's allowed. Because cause Stone Cold says so. I just wanted to take advantage of the fact that I'm pretty warm right now. And I'm almost certainly going to be warm inside the mine as well, so why not? Yeah, there we go. Church is God-made. Not man-made. Oh, my days, it is my lucky sticky day. Wind sounds like it's picking up, but even if our light is blown out. Is that rabbits over there? I'm pretty sure there are rabbits next to this church. I've hunted them before. So how cold is out here? Ambient of minus 16 out there. In here, ambient of minus 16. Thank you for the ecumenical warmth, my lord. Uh, I'd also like, you know, some temporal items. Uh, I'm not, not, ooh, ooh. Oh, another shooting guide that is um, almost literally useless, but not quite. We could burn it. But shooting skill does nothing on interloper. No guns to shoot. I was hoping to find some rabbits to ravage. Oh, well. Seems like it's perhaps been found for us. Oi, Wolfie. Wait. Okay. I saw his eyes light up. I thought he'd turned Aurora. You saw that, right? His his eyes went all supernatural on us. Alright, that was sweet. That's a, that's a nice little bit of hello. Ah, yeah. You've evaded my capture. But only for... Oh, what, what? That hit him! That bounced right off, rabbity friend there. Hmm, not really sure I'm wanting to take some condition loss here to the cold, but another rabbit to rip up inside the cave would not go amiss. Where was it? Where were they? It's the nice things about wolves, they are much, much better at- oh! Go away, go away, mine. Uh, thank you. Wasn't there another one? Ah, oh, you're over there. Right, never mind that. Back to the cave. We got the bunnies to harvest. And I want to warm up. Well, not back to the cave. Into the cave. We haven't been in it yet. Whoa! Now I stink. I triple scent line stink because of all this um, rabbit that I've got. I'm not keen on having Fido test how delicious I am. There we go. What resources are renewable in this game? Uh, that's a difficult question. Because some things are renewable because they wash up on the shore. How cold is it in here? Ooh, it's not warm. Right, chug that water and... I might just make my way through the mine, and then sleep at the end. However, there will be stuff that I just don't want to be carrying through here, isn't there? Um, no, I think we'll do it the other way. I'm gonna spend some time harvesting the rabbity stuff and dump it here, so it'll cure a bit, and I can easily grab it on the way out. That does mean goodbye fire. I am churning my way through matches, and I do hope to find another matchbook at some point, but uh, 
Yeah, look at that. I'm down to 16. I had 21 not long ago. Uh, oh, I should not have thrown that out here, but never mind. We're a little bit barely warm, so that's okay. Let's uh, harvest our rabbity friends. Easy with the hacksaw, as you know. Although the meat will start... Sp nah, the meat will be fine. Everything will be fine. Just splicey, splicey, splicey. And I want the hides as well. And the guts. Uh, guts, I think, are faster with the hacksaw, right? Certainly putting this hacksaw to work, I will strongly consider repairing it on the way back. Tummy's getting a bit rumbly. I will want to eat these rabbits, but I don't think I can start a fire in here. Okay, well, there's nothing left of you. Except the meat that I already enjoy. Um, let's get the guts and things out of you first. So we can set those down for... Um, for curing. I don't get too hungry. I do not want to lose well-fed bonus. Not by a long shot. Okay, there we go. Can't start a campfire in here. The game does not, uh, does not like me being here for that. Could always drink some birch bark for the calories and the condition restoring. I will. I'll do exactly that. Good for water as well. It's not a lot of calories, but we actually get more calories out of it, courtesy of our cooking skill. 15% calories includes from tea. Someday I hope to be good at carcass harvesting. Right, let's satiate and then sleep. Oh, but before we do any of that, I absolutely need to... Dump the guts and the rabbit pelt for curing, and why do I still have fresh deer hide? You get away as well. Come on, somewhere's got to be good for this. There you go. Mm, six hours of sleep. Yeah, I think six hours of sleep will do us fine, but I need to go and cook this rabbity stuff as soon as possible. Hope it doesn't get colder in here. It'd be f hilarious if we died in here because it gets colder. But I'm pretty sure the temperature will be uh, fine and not change much in here. Wake up, hypothermic. How are we not running out of tea? Because we keep making tea out of ingredients that we find. Hey, looking good. Right. Oh, that does not sound nice out there. Actually, that's really bad because I need to Maybe cook all this meat. Right really need to cook this meat. Um, 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 right, we're just going to have to go out, find a place that has shelter out there, and uh, cook the cook the meat, because we're too hungry not to. So, fortunately, we're sheltered right here. So I'm going to use yet another match, because we just can't seem to help ourselves. Put this down, use a stick throw in some reclaimed wood and enjoy some delicious rabbit. No, I don't think there's a fire barrel inside the mine, Marvin. There was a fire barrel inside the church, but it's cold in the church. That was cold here. <laughs> um, right. I'm actually going to make a second fire right here. I'll throw in this reclaimed wood for now, but... Uh, I just want to be able to cook my food even faster. Plus, it feels like a lovely bit of safety against anything that would try and nibble on me. How's my condition, actually, after all that sleeping? Looking good. Out goes you. Uh, wow, it is getting cold. Right, I'm just going to shove on some coal to make sure that this isn't too cold for me. And then... Cook. 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 
like, ah, we're doing fine. I'm just going to eat the whole lot up. And whilst that is taking care of itself, I shall... Uh, it's probably better to have these at the ready, isn't it? I'll make one of these. I think cooked, cooked, cooked good. Takes a while to burn. <laughs> 90 odd calories. Yeah, not a lot of uh, not a lot of eating on these things, sadly. But those there's enough to keep me going. I'm sure we'll find something else we can eat around here. What a miserable freaking time this is. Uh, right. When in doubt, cook. When in doubt, cook birch bark. Nine minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes. Twenty-one in an hour on the... on the fires. So, we'll just make some more rose hips and hope that the wind does not horribly change direction into our face. Yoink, yoink, gobble, gobble. There we go, much needed calories. On a bit of a shoestring budget, calorifically. Is there anything else I want to do with this fire? Not really. I mean, there's always the option of making more tea, but instead, I think I will take torches, good torches. We can be, we can afford to be a little bit fussy with a fire like this, so oh, that's a good torch. And this is our opportunity to go through the mine whilst this horrible storm is raging. And it certainly is raging. I understand for gameplay reasons, but most rabbits are 500 grams or more 100 grams is what? 900 grams or more 100 gram rabbits is more than 90 k. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, some level of disbelief needs to be suspended. Ooh, coal, don't mind if I do. Don't really feel the need to break you apart for goodies. Well, not yet, at least. Give it time. As I said, I'm leaving these uh, guts and pelts to cure. Please remind me of them. I don't want to have to come all the way back here just for some stuff that I forgot. Did I not search you already? Well, there was nothing in it anyway, but... Still feels a bit of a shame. Um, I don't need the warmth bonus of the birch bark, although I do kind of want the condition bonus. At least I should be able to survive a wolf attack with this much condition, but jeez, those wolves. Also, storm and desolation point just feels quite brutal, more so than in most places. On the plus side, there are no predators during a storm. I'm not sure if there are any animals during a blizzard like that. So maybe you'd see the moose, maybe not. I don't have enough experience to say one way or the other. Realistically, a whole deer would last quite a while. Well, how much do you know about preserving game? I certainly don't. Don't know much, that is. Hell, do I know anything? Probably not. Oh, I know that that's good for the... That's good for the shop, but also good for us. Oh, that's both, because our current hacksaw is feeling a bit aware. Hello! Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. More matches. More matches, more living. Because we've been burning our way through matches. Ooh, I like scrap metal. Ooh, I like scrap metal. How heavy are we anyway? 30 kilos. I'm actually going to make a triple trip through here. I'm going to go through and grab everything. And then I'm going to haul it back to the start. This will come in mm, Ultra torch, nice. And then I'm going to go back through the mine again to pop out the other end. The reason being... Oh, we're at the end already? Reason being that, yeah, I do want to go through this area by going through this mine. But I want to collect the stuff on the way back, considering that it's meant to be for the shop, wherever possible. Although I might need to eat those, um, I might need to eat the fish that I picked up. Because the calorie situation is not ideal. I think I will, actually. I really think I will. Just keeping the fire going, because I know we're going to be stepping out at some point. And part of my logic is the more that I leave behind here, the less likely I am to forget about it on the way out. 
So this is more coal than I'm ever going to need hauling around here, but I'll want to haul it back out. We're going to be quite laden when we head back to our shop, but at least we can unload and then take all our coal and scrap metal and things like that over to Forlorn Muskeg and finally make a hatchet and a knife. Now once we do that, our goodies should be cured and ready to be made into the bow. Right, what am I ditching here? Uh, I found... Let's see, I found quite a lot of coal, so let's drop uh, 16 units of coal. I certainly don't want this, this guide or these things here. Um, probably going to eat this now, actually. Should I do it right now? Might give me food poisoning, I'd hate that. Actually, the food poisoning risk is a good enough reason not to eat it. How's our weight now? Twenty-eight. Twelve spare kilos. Oh, I, I'm i pretty sure I picked up scrap metal that I wanted to drop here as well. It's not as heavy as I thought, scrap metal. And didn't I find a second hacksaw? Yep. Yeah. We'll use up our current one for now. Alright, splendid. Then we make our way back through. Then we look the north and we work our way south around. And I am going to enter some buildings just to loot them for the shop. Well, forget some buildings. I'm probably going to enter quite a few buildings because I don't want to come back here if I can avoid it. It would be nice to just go, oh yeah, desolation point. We've we've been there, we've done that. Of course, that's not how it's going to work. You just don't have the capacity to be carrying that many things around, sadly. Mm, leave a torch there. Good indicator that I've been, seen, and conquered. You move slower indoors and you can really feel it. Also, I didn't warm up quite as much as I was expecting to in here. Right, what do we have? Not much wind, which is great. Also an area that I'm not that familiar with. I'm not often here. I suppose if nothing else I could add to my giant stick collection. I do not need birch saplings. I mean, eventually I'm going to want every birch sapling I can find because it's great for making arrows, but I already have birch saplings. Oh, we'll just leave you be. Actually, I don't give two hoots about you. You want some of this, Fido? Hey, you don't want any of what I'm packing. Get the hell out of here. Man triumphs over nature yet again. Yeah, I think that's Hibernia processing over there. A little dangerous in the Predators, but... Crikey, it is. Oh, jeez! <laughs> um, not so sure I want to go over there anymore. Well, Hibernia processing a clock it is. around here. Actually, I might be able to get around the bear if I take this kind of route. I'm just hoping the wind doesn't pick up, because then Fido's not going to give two hoots about my uh, about my crummy torch, and it is crummy. I'm getting crummier by the moment. Too crummy for words, in fact. Away you go. Don't worry about the cold, my friend. You'll be fine, as long as that bear isn't making his way down here to chew on my gizzards. But he was up there. I don't think the bear is that great at uh, mountain climbing. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Nice sweet cairn. Might as well pay homage to the backers of this game that made it a reality. Special thanks, Mr. Numbers. Getting cold, but that's okay. Especially okay if we find ourselves some feathers, and a dead body, and some... is that antibiotics? Painkillers. 
more useful. Knew there was a dead body there because of the crows circling overhead, but I actually saw it before I heard them. Maybe you can bribe the bear with a nice cup of tea. Man, bears are terrifying because they're so big and strong, but even so... I mean, I think deep down everybody wants to hug a bear. Alright, swell. We're warming up in here, which is nice. I'm not familiar with this cave. Have I been here before? Well, if nothing else, it's a good place to start a fire, but I have nothing to cook. But maybe there's a corpse in here. That'd be nice. Um, This is worrisome. Bones usually mean bear, but I don't think any bears ever spawn indoors. Let's keep our ears open, shall we? I do not want to... Do not want to be proven wrong in the worst way possible. I heard something moving. Okay, so a wolf is in here, but I just saw a corpse, so I think Wolfie is going to... Is Wolfie going to leave me be if I start a fire here? Are you ever just going to go? Right, how much is there? Oh, two kilos on this deer, don't mind if I diddly do. A bit hungry. Is it Scruffy? I have heard that there are names of wolves in this. Um, there's the wolf in uh, the... I think there's a wolf in, in Bleak Inlet in an indoor place, if I recall well. Well, I don't recall. I've never been there. Or have I? Did I do Bleak Inlet during the Escape from the Dark Walker? So many things I just don't remember myself. Right, let's hope that this will keep our friend at bay whilst I carve you up. Now, what if... I was tempted to shred you, but you're actually not at a great, uh, great level to be shredded. The fire is hopefully keeping Wolfie at bay. Yeah, I see it's getting all, getting all sorts of scared. Give me the kilo. Feels very risky doing this next to Wolfie, but uh, needs must. I don't think I'll... Holy Jesus, go away! <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Alright. Well, at least I can enjoy this venison. No and freaking fear me, man. Um, right, I could take the opportunity to prepare tea ingredients, or I could use this opportunity to explore. Don't jump me, wolf. I've been jumped before and I don't like it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, you're just jealous because I've got all this food, aren't you? But get away. I'm going to add some more sticks because I'll probably want some more um, torches out of you. In fact, I'll begin... Oh, nice torch. Very nice torch. Very, very nice torch. I've had amazing torch luck on this whole run. I know some people might think, ah, you got so lucky by finding a bedroll or a hacksaw or anything else, but the real luck has been in these uh, torches. Very high tier torches I've been finding. Oh, there's another nice one. Hello, this place is loaded! Uh, I'm actually going to take that can. Actually, why did I take that can? Waste of time. Oh, I found some dog food. Maybe I could offer it to Scruffy here. coal here as well. Oh, this is a really nice place. It would be nicer if I had a bow. I'm 
put Scruffy out of his or her misery. Right, if you could just let me go, right? I've, I know I've stolen your dog food. But listen, you can come and buy it back from me in my store. You are, you are in a very awkward place, could you not? I'm also stuck here. Hopefully you didn't just go back further into the cave, but I think you did. Hard to tell. There wasn't another place over here, though, that I'm quite certain I didn't check out. If you aim rocks at a wolf without fire at your feet, it will attack you. Yep. However, if it's far away, it will also aggro on you, even if you have fire at your feet. But it'll stop and then immediately get spooked, and that's really useful. Where, the, where was it? I just, just heard the bark, but... Yeah, Scruffy here's all bark and no bite. However, I get the feeling that you could be blindsided on a corner here quite easily. Well, uh, I went all the way up here and there's bleeding nothing. Story of my life. Right. Let's see. It ran towards me with the aggro because I aimed, but it also backed away because it soon saw the torch. I actually really don't like the way this game handles uh, predator interaction. It just feels really gamey. Now, of course it does. It's a game, but... It's just... I mean, they're one of the main threats, but dealing with them is just so strange feeling. Alright, right, enough of this bleeding place. Let me be, Scruff. I'm gonna go say hi to your bear friend. I also don't like this, um, this dying torch, so get a fresh one. Having to drop your torch to scare the wolf is weird and off-putting. Exactly. Right, if fire is uh, a counter to the animals, then just have some kind of, like, swing your arm rapidly button or something. Oh, that's a terrible idea, but I'm sure... I'm sure five minutes of thinking about it could come up with something better than Drop Torch and Spook Dog. Ooh, I'll tell you, being in there was great, though. It warmed up nicely. It's at the warmest time of day as well. The only real downside is my severe lack of uh, alertness. But we had a good meal in there, a very good meal. And we found some dog food and tin of sardines. The dog food, I'm not sure I'd... Um, I think I'd rather have that on display. Can anyone check my shopping list, which is definitely a better name than the stock take, uh, and tell me how many tins of dog food, or if I even specifically have dog food on that list. We have not yet raided the memento cache, but it shall be done. Is that my torch? Yeah, I think I threw that there. We need to go to the the Riker first. Scat cat. He's looking very confused. Is there anything on this rock? Kind of, kind of out there, isn't it? No, it doesn't look like it. Right, I'd like to do Hibernia, but I'm going to do the, the Riker first. Right, this torch is about to go, so I need to quickly aggro you, shoo you away, and then equip a fresh torch. And we're getting into a really good torch territory. Let's go. If I find something in... Ooh! Beachcombing. Birch bark. Is that a toque? Oh, now that is good. Is that reclaimed wood? That isn't good, but I'll take it. And that is beachcombing, folks. People, uh, Things just show up on the side there. 
And that is your only renewable source of cotton. Uh, not cotton. Cloth. Because you can find clothes and harvest them for, uh, for cloth. Uh-oh. We have a problem. Wind is picking up big time. Now this problem is about to become a bigger problem. Because... There are rules quite the way around here. And I can't spend any longer indoors than I need to loot for the shop. And again, anything that I loot, I'm not allowed to keep. Or rather, I'm not allowed to use for myself. It must only be stored in the shop. What the hell was that noise? And that's probably just the wind. Everything's the wind right now. Can't start a fire out in the open with this massive amount of wind. I've never seen clouds move that fast in real life. Must be a sight to behold. Uh, there's a deer over there. If there were a wolf nearby, I'd love to spook it into it and then harvest the deer for myself, but no. Okay, so if I find anything here, um, please help me out by uh, helping me take note of it because I'm not allowed to use it. I can only keep it for the shop. For example, Wool scarf. Uh, problem is, this is going to have quite a few things. It's going to be hard to take, keep track of, but still, wool scarf is one of them. Should I write this down somewhere? I should. I, I got, uh, I got pen but no paper. It's not like me to travel without a notepad. A, a real physical notepad, but I guess I was being a bit tight-fisted on the space. Maybe I will just draw all over my travel insurance documents. Hold the phone, because this is expensive. I don't want to undermine my my run by using things that I find. Ah, here we go. Not sure how this game responds to Alt-Tab. Uh, it pauses, which uh, is actually something I don't like at all. Okay, so indoor loot for shop only, only in capital letters. I'm writing this down old analog styly. Wool scarf. So not allowed to use wool scarf. There's quite a few things I'm bound to find around here. Because uh, the Riker is a pretty great place for goodies. Uh, however, it's a little dark in here. I do like using this instead of torches where I can. I thought we could open metal shelves. Oh, oh man, cloth. <laughs> well, cloth times one, and I will... Do that in the whole um, group by five scoring, just to keep easier count of it. Uh, fro frozen. I don't even think I want this. Screw. I really don't want that. I already have two copies of it, and I'm not allowed to read it anyway. So, no point even having that in the shop. Nobody wants the same cop uh, multiple copies of the same book in a shop, do they? Although it sucks going to a bookshop and finding that they don't actually have all of a series. They've got holes in it. Probably because somebody came and bought this or that. Right, there's a lot of coal here. I'm probably not going to take it. Because there's no point. If I can't use it, why even take it? But this is a forge. We could bring a hammer here and do some forging if we weren't playing Outer Loper. But we are. Uh, again, there's no point taking the scrap metal. I don't think I have any scrap metal needs for the shop, and if I do, I can always just grab them closer to the location. A bed that we cannot sleep in. I could hack away at some of this for, um... Oh, I need a knife to hack it. Never mind. I was thinking I could hack it down for cloth to repair the items that we have on sale in the shop. Hello? Dog food. Uh, dog food X1. Classic, yeah, we have two to eight, but not one. Of course, it's because somebody comes in and buys number one, not the rest, isn't it? 
What does that button do? That was actually a really pathetic hull from the Riker. I can't believe there's not more. Oh well, needs must. If we found everything, we can't just doss around inside it. Verboden, as per our rules. This, however, is outdoors. And I'm sure as sugar not enjoying a warmth bonus here. I'm just enjoying less cold. So what do we have here? Nothing and something actually quite good. No ship. I leave this to you. Memento cache and the key for the memento cache. I'm a little tempted to start a fire here because it's really freaking cold and I still do need to do some exploring. Really freaking cold. Um, but the fire loss would be a bit nasty. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to leg it over to Hibernia. And then loot that. Is that the bear? That's the bear, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to leg it over to Hibernia and loot that for the shop as well. Is there an outdoor area in the top of the lighthouse? There is. There certainly is. And a lighthouse is a pretty great spot, uh, spot as well. A fantastic place to go in interloper. But it'll have nothing of use for us in outer loper. Alright. Well, let's prepare to leg it. I'm probably going into the wind this way. Leg it and hopefully don't get bared. Okay, no, the, the wind is slightly at our back, which is nice. Yeah, cranky, three things and one of them was cloth? Actually, two of them were cloth, really, if one of them was a wool scarf. That's a pretty awful find in Riker. But that's actually, that's actually quite good, because it means, means I don't feel so bad for outer loping it. What do we have here? A uh, fat lot of nothing. And I... Oh, 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 oh. Stop getting stuck on the ice. Wish this game had State of Decay's stuck button. Dog food. Is there a way in from here? I hope so. There is. Okay, there's quite a lot to loot here. And loot we shall. But, as I'm sure you're going to get real tired of hearing, we're not allowed this loot for ourselves. It's only for the shop. Mm, can't sleep here or wait around here either. We look, and then we go. Usually a corpse back here. Yeah, but corpses have this annoying tendency to just have nothing for me. Have we found anything useful in a corpse in this whole run? But then that's the interloper way, so many things are empty. I have actually fired this game on an easier difficulty. I think Stalker? And it's just, it's mad how many items there are. People can enjoy this game the way they want to. To me, though, it's just too... Too much babying. Oh, you spawned here. Well, here's your knife. Here's some salty crackers. Here's a jug of maple syrup and a pat on your head. Time to drink some of our immense amount of water. Wow, okay. So, oh, oh, a book. Right. And I almost missed this. A whetstone. So don't mind me. I need to uh, keep, keep, keep keeping track of this. Whetstone... And uh, what was the other thing? I already managed to forget. Um, what was it? Oh, book. Of course I would forget book. I need to find a lot of books. Probably shouldn't have put so many on the list, because that means a lot of weight to carry around back to the shop. I love that rattling noise. Maybe some people would think, oh, that'll keep me awake. I don't like that. I'm trying to sleep. But I find it very comforting to hear that. Is that something there? It was not. And I can't loot the calendar either. Okay, so that was one of the trailers, but there are more trailers. There are also wolves and things abound here, so be wary. 
Anything I find out here is fair game. Ugh, but what I'm finding is freakish cold. <laughs> There's another trailer over there. There is a double locker with my name on it. It's got nothing and it's got even more nothing, my favourite. Okay. If I wanted to warm up, I could just set a fire here. It's not like uh, it's not like we'd be dying here if we weren't able to enter these places. Although, you know, beds would be nice. Oh, oh, spray paint. Did end up being useful. I hate to say it, but yeah, I need to grab some spray paint. It's not even spray paint. It's hardly even worth putting on my list here because uh, I'm never going to use spray paint anyway. I don't like it. But there it is. Anything else? Same with the cacadas. How do you even say cacadas? Is it cacadas? Cassadas? Cicadas? Or cicadas? Uh, many Japanese people say they can't stand them, but I can't get enough of them. Um, I was somewhere not too long ago, probably during my travels, where there was a lot of that kind of noise. I don't know if it was the insect mating noise of the cicada or something else, but... And I honestly don't remember if I couldn't stand it or not. Right, well, oh, no, there we go. Wonder if this is any good to eat. Add this to the tinners section. So, Tom Soup X1. <laughs> this trailer is more loaded than the whole Riker uh, newsprint. Newsprint. X1. Now, these trivial things that I'm unlikely to use are probably not worth taking note of, but oh! Hope nobody needs this. Mm, nah, that's painful, but. I'll grab that as well. Matches times 12. So that's worth remembering if you spawn in Desolation Point on Interloper. Potential matches in one of these. I didn't know that, now I do. Damn, it's Sicario. Hmm, okay. What happens if he dies? It's game over. No ifs, no buts, no coconuts. All the way back to square one. So let's try not to die. I'd really not like that. Jeez, that noise spooks me. It makes me think a bear is right there. Right, anything else with our name on it? You know, like a bear. Die if I don't, don't sweat the small stuff, Shepard. Do, on the other hand, grab this really nice memento cash box. It has flare, 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 flare shot, flare shot, flare, 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 flare shot, flare shot. Very nice. Yeah, it was 12 matches. It's always 12 matches in one of those. Right. I don't think it's worth me picking up any reclaimed wood. It's going to make me confused because I already have some. And if I need it for the shop, which I do, I can always just tear things apart. It's not so dark that I need light here, so I won't bother. However, if it got any colder, I would almost certainly be lighting something up. I'm getting real tired, though. Uh, how are we going to deal with that? I could go crawling back to the abandoned mine, or... I think I will do that. We'll have a nap in the abandoned mine that we came from, and hope that the bear isn't on the prowl. Metal table to carve up for eight bits of, uh, bits of metal, but I think not. I think there is... Do I want this firewood? It's pretty heavy. I don't think I do. I'll leave that behind. I'd only, I'd only end up accidentally burning it of that, I'm sure. It's pretty hard to see. There could be all these goodies that I'm missing because it's so dark in here. Would not put it past me. Just imagine that someone's going to join in right now for the first time and be like, Why is he inside? I thought this was Outer Loper.
the thing about a run like this is that I needed the rules to be a bit convoluted for what I wanted to do, but I'm a huge fan of keep it simple, stupid. Uh, so I'm, I'm breaking the kiss method here for this run, because I couldn't think of a simple way to do what I wanted to do here. I do need the light, it's too dark. I think there's stuff under these crates, but I'm not going to spend the huge amount of time to tear them apart. Crates can hide goods, but uh, I don't know which ones do and which ones do not. And it's not worth the hours spent tearing them apart. I think I need to lay down. Quiet down, Shepard. There is a safe here. I will be trying to find every safe I can, because safes can have money. And we actually need Canadian money. Oh, oh wow, that was fast. Uh. There we go, so three. Three, twenty-seven. Come on now. This is weird, I don't know why they put this in the game. What does it add? Wow, you're making me do a full rotation for this. Right. Never Book. Thought to look here. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's really painful. That's an amazing find, normally. This thing right here, it takes up a unique, well, kind of unique, it takes up this accessory slot. Mmm, but we're not allowed it. Anyway, that's book times another, and it's ear cap. Painful to find that. I wanted my Canadian money instead. Why is Jake doing X? I thought it was supposed to be an outer loper playthrough. Yep, 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 yep. Well, that's okay. I made a short write-up about what we're doing in the title. Of course, whoever checks the links in the title. Don't blame people for avoiding a bit dot whatever link that it is. Oh man, I flare. Think I can use this. That's good though, I need a... Uh, I need a flare for this door. If I somehow accidentally use that flare, that's okay because I, I have a flare that I found that's back in the shop, but I still don't plan on doing that. Hmm, so backers could write messages in the game. That's kind of cool. This is an amazing place for looting. If you're playing Interloper and you spawn in Desolation Point, make your way generally towards here. Stop by the lighthouse if you want a nap to stay warm and other goodies, but yeah, great place to be. Thank you. Soda. Soda is nice. Another whetstone. So that's whetstone times two. Soda times one. Find quite a lot of things here. Hopefully I'm not too overweight. Ah, 30. But we are in dire need of sleep. And I can't sleep here. It's against the rules. Even my own malleable rules. Hello, gun. Just what I need. Now, I would love to have this for myself, but we're not allowed it. We even have the shells for it. So, gun times one. That's the only gun that spawns on inter. Well, the only type of gun that spawns on interloper. Uh, hopefully there's another one, because I do want to have one for myself, but that one is going to have to be only in the shop. Mm, any more for any more? Come on, folks, this is meant to be a group effort. Feeling like a bank ro- oh, oh, ah, annoyingly, I do want to read this, but not allowed. Uh, I should make note of that. That was archery book. Gotta find a million copies of Angler and Gunning, but the only archery book we find we're not allowed to use. How typical. Oh, scratch one more on tomato soup. Scratch one more on a book. Just means I need to remember to not accidentally set fire to the books, because, you know, that would be an accident. Use the pry bar to open this to enhance the disappointment. 
Yep. Jesus. I, I feel like it's some kind of sick joke. Things you pry open never have anything. We're actually far from done with this place. There's, there's even more to be had. Is it? Can I see without this? I feel like I'm wasting a lot of fuel, but... It is really handy to be able to see. Like this. That'll come in handy. So, did I say 12 uh, matches? I meant 24 matches found that we're not allowed to use. Has the pry bar ever found something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Food bar times one. I'm just grouping all the food bars to, together for the purpose of this run. I don't know if they have different calorie amounts. I, I don't much care. Could swap out the matches with someone you're shot. Nah, that defeats the purpose of it. Right, this place goes out to another little area over here. And this, I believe, is a potential bedroll spawn. It's some lovely reclaimed wood spawn, but I'm not, not after the reclaimed wood. I will forego this Could awesome torch, because I'll just accidentally use it if I take it with me. And it's not like torches are going to be difficult to stock the place with. I will forego that recycled can, thank you kindly. Uh, we're still not done here, believe it or not. You have no choice, you must believe it. Because... Uh, if I can remember, up here... There's this upturned boat, and you will want some light for this part. And up here, there's a nice little cache of goodies, usually. Oh, cup of coffee. Coffee and crisps, so coffee times one. Crisps, have I really not found any crisps? Oh, okay, well, only one set of crisps then. Uh, another newsprint. Painkillers. God, we've got a lot here. Painkillers. But believe it or not, we're still not done because there's more up here. Plastic container to check. Nothing there, nothing there, and nothing... Oh, wow, crap. <laughs> Normally there's good stuff up there, but... Uh, not this time. Oh, well. Now we're finally done with processing. And our character is incredibly sleepy. And actually, really slowed down from all these goodies. Yeah, that's a little painful. Even so, I'm going to ready the marine flare, I think. Unless it's, uh... Can I get over this? No, of course not. Well, we're going to work our way out of here anyway and hope that we don't get bared out. I will have you at the ready, in the hopes that it's not windy. Although I hate that, because if you just accidentally left-click for even a moment, you're going to waste a, a match, and wasting matches feels horrible. Alright, looks fine enough, feel my feet. but we got to go. we got places to be, and this is not where we're to be. I kind of want to run... And I do have some food that I didn't find here that I could eat, I'm quite certain of that. So calories expenditure is not the worst thing in the world, but even so I don't wanna don't wanna be too gung-ho about it. Open the hood, there's no battery. Uh taking condition damage here. Freezing. Doesn't seem to be too bad a deal here. Memento hint. There's a really nice eating opportunity here in Desolation Point when I'm leaving, so that's no big deal, but we really need to sleep soon. And I'm not that far from the cave that I made my way into here. And it should be warm enough to uh, be warm in there without having to start a fire. Alright, any more for any more? 
sleeping in cars is a-okay. I'm not doing it though, because it's still bollocking cold inside that car. Pop the hood, check for a battery. Ah! Right, we know it's there, but there's no way I'm lugging a 15 kilo battery all the way back home when I've got all this other stuff. Painkillers, now tells. Right, we just hope for no bear, no wolves, we just get into the cave and rest up, because we are eating a fair chunk of condition damage right now. We're going to eat even more condition damage when we get more tired, and we will get more tired. I do want to head up north there, because there might be a corpse, and there'll certainly be other stuff to loot. Also, forgive me, but I must. I must grab sticks if I see sticks. It's like, night is coming. It's like human nature. Like the inherent human need to dodge taxes, I must consume sticks. I will concede that I'm tempted to grab these things and just start them curing. There's no good reason not to, it's right here, so let's just yoink. 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 And jinkies. Alright, now for reals, we're done. Let's get inside. Your energy's gone, John. It's gone. But, that was quite productive. That's the leave mine area. We're going to drop all these things to cure. We're going to consider eating any food that somehow isn't something that we've looted. Is any of this stuff that we haven't looted? I think some of the dog food. How much dog food? Only one of this... I could, I could eat 500 calories worth of dog food easily peasily. Yeah, go on, scarf it down. You've earned it. Mmm. No way to warm it up, so it doesn't really matter. We're having it at room temperature. Could eat another load of dog food if we really wanted to, but... We need some for the pet mart. Can't believe my luck. Found Jake streaming live, says May Cinnamon Rolls. Such is what happens on this uh, weird and wonderful world of Japan time for streams. Right. Plunk down the bedroll and we enjoy ourselves probably eight hours of sleep. We could certainly sleep for longer. Let's try and go for ten hours. Nine hours. Nighty night world. This should give us a ton of condition back. Uh, and I just heard a blizzard outside, but I think it just passed already. We could sleep for longer. Do I want to sleep for longer? Depends on the time. Uh, it's still night time, so don't mind me if I grab another couple hours of sleep. I'm getting a little dangerously hungry though, and we can't use cattails, because I dumped most of my cattails back home. I'm still in Japan. I'll still be here for at least another week. Uh, I don't think I ditched anything other than the... Yeah, I didn't ditch anything other than these birch saplings. Do I want to do the switcheroo right now? No, I think we're good. We're, we're not that tired, so we can still move around a fair bit. And if I find a corpse, we will be able to eat rather well. Oh, it's unpleasant out here. But not insurmountably so, so let's get moving. Not insurmountably. Feels like minus 29. Even with our okay-ish clothes on. Mm, really don't want to lose well-fed, but we are getting pretty hungry here. <laughs> news of news has been filled with reports of a ragged man in a skirt prowling around the rice paddies. Mothers locking up their children all over Shiga Prefecture. Hurts because it's true. Right. I'm really hoping for a corpse. Give me a good reason to light a fire, if nothing else. Oh, there's a. I didn't know there was a cave here. Gee, we lost all of our. This is a bear's cave. 
Let's not be here. This is a silly place to be. I should have heated up some teas or something, but I didn't want to spare the match as usual. No corpse? Well, I don't want to come here just to provide a corpse, but uh, that's a shame. It's a Goram shame. Didn't like that noise I heard. What is that? Whoa, ho, ho. That was very well hidden, but yeah, quality tools. Nice. Spray paint. I already have quality tools, but, uh, you know, more is more. Even here it feels like minus a billion degrees. Oh, we're going right back into the... Right back into the storm. That's unpleasant. I'm going to quick look for that corpse, but nope. I might even duck back into the cave just to warm up. Hello! Nothing personal, but I am hungry. Oh no! I am still hungry, though. I want that rabbit. I want a bite of rabbity food. Where did it go? Damn rabbits making a fool out of me. I know of a good source of food around here, but I don't wanna don't wanna freeze on my way to it. Yeah, I bet that rabbit tasted like crap anyway. Right, brr. Okay, I need to think about my plan of attack here. If I go down and around... Yeah, that's probably the best way. I don't know how I'm going to be for food heading that way, though. Potentially not great. What about these saplings? Do I want to take them with me? They're not that heavy. Okay, sadly I have to crack open another load of dog food just to keep myself going. But just about everything else that I have in terms of food is stuff that I have found indoors, so I'm forbidden from eating. Um, I'm actually gonna... Hmm. Can't start a fire here. Really trying to think about my best option here, because I want to do the Lonely Lighthouse. There's quite a few things I want to do, but just the weather outside is utter hogwash. Uh... But boy, is it cold here. Tell you what, I could always warm up plenty by taking another nap in my bedroll. Probably take my birch saplings with me, there's no harm in it. And then away we will go. So a couple hours of kip, hopefully the weather clears up. Bet that well-fed bonus is on last fall, it doesn't look like it's still a thing. Oh, we still have the well-fed bonus. We better. Yeah, yeah. Whew! Made me worry there. Uh, right, these are coming with me. Lighten our load a bit more with this. I can always eat, uh, drink my tea if things get desperate. I can always stop and make a fire to drink tea if uh, warming needs to be dealt with. God, it's still unpleasant out here. Let's, uh, despite the calorific pain, pick up the pace of... No, hmm... It's difficult, isn't it? To tell you what, if I see a rabbit, a rabbit would fix all of my problems. Munch down on some rabbity goodness on our way. Gonna grab some extra stones with that in mind. Why not go through the mine? Uh, it takes me out a little further than I want to go. You're right, though. It might have been a better idea than taking this route. It's just there might be some nice things along the road, and I haven't explored it yet. Alright. Pick up the pace. This hypothermic risk is no joke. I 
I can warm up quite easily just by sit settling down and making a uh, making a fire. But I'm on the lookout for rabbits, corpses, anything that can help me out in my calorific deficit right now. What do we have down here? There's a truck down here, that much I know. Are those cattails? That doesn't look like cattails. Do I care about that truck enough to go down for it? Maybe. Possibly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. The bear can have the truck today. Get away. That's my rabbit now. Oh, there's barely any meat on it. Um, only takes four minutes. Give me that meat. Maybe there are more rabbits around here. Of course, now I'm just back at the church. If anywhere, I should go over there. To the, uh, the Lonely Lighthouse. Right, this nonsense has gone on too long. I should really just start a fire. I wanted to do this near a corpse, but I need the tea, I need the warmth bonus. And while we're here, I could always cook up that lovely bit of rabbit. <laughs> It'll give me almost no calories, but it will give me something. You be gone. Feels like minus 20, so if we just chuck on a bit of coal and this reclaimed wood. And then we just cook you up and cook up some birch bark, so I want the condition back as well. And this temperature will increase enough to keep us hey, nice and alive. Be nice to be more alive, though. Uh, but I don't think I want. Ah, hell! Let's just shove on some more coal. We have plenty of it. I want the temperature back. I need a tiny bit of calories that I'm going to get out of this. Ah, it's a shame we didn't find a corpse. I really wanted a corpse. Mm. Lonely lighthouse isn't going to solve my food problems, but beyond that, I should be able to solve them because I know where there's some good food around here. Um, do I want to stay here and warm up? I mean, why not? It's kind of what the purpose of this is, but still. I'm gonna drink this more for condition than anything. <laughs> it's a pathetic amount of uh, calories. I think I'll just load up on torches, good torches only, and then get moving. At least I can carry a fire for a good long time and remain safe from predators. Although while I'm here, couldn't I be cooking up some... Well, some anything, really. Cook some racial mushrooms, cook some... Hey, I've still got some coffee in a tin. The tin of coffee wasn't something I found, was it? No, I found the cup of coffee. Very different. Um... Yes. Good to know that I have the makings for more cups of tea as well. Yeah, they're they're highly intelligent um, wolves here. Taking advantage, enjoying warming up a bit while I'm here. Enjoying the. Ooh, I do need bandages. We. 
Um, hold on, that cloth. That cloth is something I found. I can't make it into bandage. Crumbs. Oh well. Such is how it goes. That was a cup of coffee, no? No, it's fine. Um, here we go. This is a cup of coffee that we found, and this is the one that we just made. Don't worry, no infractions to be had here, although I'm sure you want there to be. Oh wow, it cleared up something fierce. This is good, I should be taking advantage of this, and I will. The main downside is that I am very hungry. It's almost tempting not to do the Lonely Lighthouse, but instead I'll just do it as quickly as I can. Getting some half decent torches out of this is nice. Okay, so... Our desire to find some meat was a bit of a bust. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled for some corpses, especially a fresh corpse, that would be amazing. I've lost my warming up bonus already, but we did just make some warm rose hip tea, I think, so I can drink that if the need arises. I also have a tin of fish if I'm desperate for calories, and I'm starting to get a little desperate. There were birds. The birds were flying away. They weren't circling over something, if we're thinking of the same birds. And maybe we are, and maybe we are not. Alright, warm racial tea. Delicious calories from uh, mushroom soup. Not a lot of calories, but some. It was a bit of a trek. I am burning through these calories like nobody's business. But again, I know where I can find some good venison here, so... Oh well, unless it's all rotted away. That'd be funny, because it's, it's, it's been over two weeks since we started the run. It could be that corpses uh, degrade away. I don't actually know. Grab an extra stone in case there's some, some wabbits to crush. Check down here for a corpse. Sometimes there is. Not seeing it, though. All right, anything we find in here, we can't use, but we'll make note of. Now I'm gonna keep the fire going. I never used the stim earlier, did I? No. Oh, oh. Needs this anymore. dress shirt. Hold that thought. I want to write it down. Dress shirt. Bottom one isn't checked yet. Keeps a spare dress. Oh, nice firewood, but I will. Ah, oh, even more matches. The matches are now 36 matches that we found and cannot use. Remember, we went over two hours at the start of this game unable to find any matches. Which is quite horrible in its own way. Hmm. Okay, well, just some nice lower stuff. Tomato soup, ketchup chips, and stim. Whoa, that stim is nice. So, stim times one means I can leave that back at the shop without having to worry about losing my emergency stim. Uh, ketchup chips. Where, 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 where is that in my list? There was no tomato soup there, right? But where are the crisps? Ah, here we go, crisps. Just checking my own personal notes, don't worry about me. There's a lot to keep track of, more than I imagined. Yeah, let's make that spray paint times two. Force open another locker. It will have nothing in it. I bet the farm on it. Nothing at all. A fat lot of nothing. Oh, that's painful. It's also heavy. 
Painful because we can't use it, but still. Jerry can. Got a lot of things to pick up on my way out of here. Okay, sewing premiere is outside, so that's okay. It's also something that I would actually want to read if given half a chance. And a bit more lantern fuel. Oh, unfortunately, when we pick up lantern fuel and we have a jerry can in our inventory, it just goes straight in the jerry can. Okay, I might not have enough calories to get back if I don't take the risk and eat these. This could backfire. Let's just hope that it doesn't. It didn't. Good. I think at 45% condition, fish has a chance of giving you, or tinned fish has a chance of giving you uh, food poisoning. You just ate, man. More calories in that tin of uh, fish than I had in my sashimi the other day. Of that, I'm quite certain. Okay. I am pretty desperate for a corpse, and although I know where one is, it's going to pass me by from the abandoned coal mine, and I have a little bunch of stuff to pick up there, don't I? See, so those are birds just flying around, not birds indicating a corpse for me. A corpse out here, corpsey, corpsey, corpsey. Sure as sugar, I'm not seeing one. I know where there's food, he says. It'll be fine. Well, maybe there'll be some rabbits that are willing to uh, give me a delicious leg or gut or belly or whatever. What parts of the rabbit are best to eat? Probably the same as any animal. I like my meat dark. Car. Nothing as usual. Nothing in the back. And. Nothing in the front. Wow. Painful. No battery either. Shepard's getting a bit nippy as usual. Also feels like he's slowing down a bit. Is that because of wind or something else? I have eaten the last of the food that I can uh, legally eat on this run, so <laughs> I need to find the goodies that I'm after and soon. It's okay though, I'm confident. It's just that sadly I need to make a detour up here back into this cave and grab the goods that I left behind. But I left them here for this reason. There weren't guts in here, were there? Ah, crumbs. I could do without the unwanted attention. Oh yeah, metal, metal, hacksaw, guts. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Nicely cured, though. Oh jeez, coal. Gonna be a hefty bugger on the way back. Uh, 47 kilos, huh? Let's drink some of the water, try to lighten our load a bit. Can I leave behind some water? There you go. Well, let's go, you heavy bastard, you. That's okay, I think I know where there's food. <laughs> uh, we only have one stink line, which isn't the end of the world. Cold kind of sucks. It's tempting to start a fire just to have a cup of tea. 
But we'll be starting a fire real soon, and I don't want to waste any time because my con mm, no condition is important. So let's hope that there's no wind hitting us here. There is no wind hitting us here, and let's just start a simple fire. What's the goal of the run today? It was to loot all of Desolation Point and Crumbling Highway. I'm not sure we're going to have the space to do all of Crumbling Highway on the way back, but we have made good progress. Now we've had great luck with the fires. Now, just give me the rose hips, and if I have a birch bark, which I don't. Do I really not have any birch bark tea? I guess I drank it all. Oh well. So hungry in my life. That's a lie. Right, just chug that. A few precious calories, but also the warmth. Mostly the warmth, actually. Crappy torch has no no space in my life. I want good torch. Crappy torch has no space in my life. I want good torch. I'm not, I'm not messing around here, game. I do want good torch. Good. Hilariously, though, I'm uh, just going to extinguish you, holster you, and take out one of my existing crappier torches. Wow, most of my torches are great. It's fine, though. Oh. Don't be afraid to use good torches, even though I usually am. The ingredients are also nice. You know, it would be amazing if that deer went and got nibbled on by a uh, a dog, but we haven't seen any dogs nearby. Ooh, there's often loot out here and at that um, mashed up uh, boat over there. I'm not sure I want to make the pilgrimage over to it when I'm this tired and hungry and cold and everything. I know, Shep. Quit your bleeding moaning all the time. Special thanks to backer PP520. Your contribution to this great game does not go unnoticed. Not today, at least. Right, this is alright. We're heading over, I think, to Katie's Secluded Corner. Which should be a good place to get rabbits and a corpse. So, even though we've been struggling on the food for a while, we should be eating like a king over here. Time to have some guts flavored tea. We should be warm as well, because I'm just going to lob on a couple bits of coal. Heavens knows we have, if anything, too much coal. I'm going to keep the Normandy heater at max from now on. <laughs> Joker, I'm going to need to rip up your leather chair. I've run out of cloth and cured leather. Let's not break our delicate Canadian ankles going up here. I have my crampons, which should reduce the risk. But I am overloaded, which increases the risk, so... Six and a half a dozen. Crows tell me that indeed there is a corpse over here. And I'm going to tear it apart for everything it's worth. I'll be having its hide, its guts, its everything. So we're actually going to be here for a while, I think, which is fine, because we're going into a mine soon. Great opportunity to sleep through the night. Well, this better not just be a human corpse. That would suck. That uh, would suck big time. Just want to lay down for a bit. That would really suck. Okay, thank goodness it's not. Right. Going to lay our fire down here, because it's nice and sheltered. Should be close enough to the corpse to, uh, to thaw it out. <laughs> yeah, tally. Step aside. Engine room's for me now. Come on. Come on. Okay, that's sweet. Oh. Add uh, a couple bits of coal. I only have 93 calories. 
I need the smallest bit of meat that I can get off of you right now. And I need that thing cooked up as fast as possible. 16 minutes, huh? I'm not sure I have 16 minutes worth of food in my belly. Just don't move very much, Shepard. Four minutes, 19 calories. I only have 40 calories left, for God's sake. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I must be well fed. Mmm, there we go. My savior. Right, now, give me that kilo of meat. Did my fire go out? No, no, it just decided to go dark for whatever reason. Cook up this uh, gamey venison, if you will, please. And if I could find some rabbits to introduce to my stone-throwing arm, that would be great. Hello, rabbity friend. Hello, pork and beans. I don't really need another recycled can, so I'll leave that be. Another um, birch sapling, which I certainly don't need. Excellent shot by me. Pet the rabbit, George. Alright, any more rabbits want to get in my grumbly, grumbly, tumbly right now? Or are they all scared by the... Probably the birds, not me. Feathers are always good. Nom 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 nom. Now, where's our dead rabbity friend? There you are. You're not very good at the meat game, are you? Well, let's hack you apart anyway. Look, the bunny knew the risks. At least that pork and beans I could actually quite happily eat myself. Actually, doing all the harvesting of the guts and stuff out of the rabbit, I can do inside the mine. I've still got an hour 21 on that, 9 minutes, 23 minutes. I think I can safely take these guts. Hopefully safely. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Hey, neither of burned. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so nice. So nice to actually have calories. By the way, Jake, I'm curious. When interacting with locals, do you start trying English? Do you straight, uh, straight for Japanese? That's a bit unfair to assume the locals are going to know English, so I go with the Japanese. Usually uh, including an apology for my own atrocious Japanese, but they always seem happy that you try. Which is nice. Right. Mm, well, you know how I operate. I make water. I was really hoping for more rabbits. Normally there's about three rabbits prowling around here, but today just just the one. I'm going to take the sapling while I'm here. I don't see a good reason not to. We're heading back shortly. I'll be honest, I was expecting more corpsey food. Oh, this is nice. I've been waiting on one of these for a long time, a maple sapling. We have already found one, and one is all you, strictly speaking, need, but I wanted a lot more than one. Alright, is the wind putting you out? Oh, you still seem solid. Uh, Forty odd minutes. Tell you what, I'm going to shove on a couple of sticks and take the opportunity to 
Why the... Oh! Put your hands up! This rabbit is now under the protection of the Canadian Royal Guard. Okay, that changed my plan slightly. Only slightly, though. Yeah, pause where I can see them. That's another delightful kilogram of rabbit meat. Yeah, keep the rabbit and carve him up inside the coal mine. 20 minutes until boiled, 33 minutes till ready. That's time enough to tear this apart with my bare hands. However, I want to make sure this campfire is good to keep on going. More sticks, more good. Didn't you find that gun indoors? I did, but functionally it's the same thing. I'd still have to press 2 and aim, and if I wasn't doing it with that, I'd be doing it with stones. So there's no difference by having that. Alright, I still want the guts, actually, so you know how I operate. I make more water. Mm, there wasn't another rabbit appearing here, was there? Be too much to ask for. Right, let's hack our way. All boiled. Let's get our cooking pot back. Let's uh, look in awe at how overweight we are. Throw in a few sticks and grab a few more torches, despite me just talking about how overweight we are. We can always go underweight by drinking. The guts are good for damn near everything samurai. Clothes and the bow. Um, snares. If you're the kind of person that uses snares. I've never used snare in this game, although I would like to try sometime. I like to think I try just about everything this game has to offer at some point. Right, we're getting a decent-ish level of tired. We should be able to sleep through the night, and then it'll be daytime when we emerge, bleary-eyed from all of this. Now let's try real hard not to get ourselves killed going up and over here. This is a safe way around, right? God, it better be. Hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. I love heights, but uh, whew, that would be a fatal fall, I think. Don't turn on auto-walk for this. That would be a bad idea, I would hazard to say. Uh, this is surely intentional, right? Where did I even come out at? Well, it doesn't matter where I am, what matters is where I'm going, and I'm going back to the mine. Uh, how do I get down from here? <laughs> do I get down from here? Might be the better question. Cool. Right, well, I'm glad that worked out. I could see a hundred different ways that it was not going to work out for me. I grabbed all the goods already out of the mine, so it's just a case of heading back home. Via another mine, of course. Oh, whoa, I missed some... some lichen, apparently. Unless lichen has miraculously started growing back, and I am certain that it has not. No, I'm not good at platforming. I'm great at platforming, Donuts. Childhood playing Mario and other similar games has to count for something. I don't see any real point in keeping this fire going, although I will anyway. I will get to the end of the mine before sleeping, rather than sleeping at the start of it. Just means I cover more distance and get more sleep at the end of it all. Keep my eyes open for more corpses or more rabbits. 
Gotta remember that I plan on harvesting the rabbit corpse inside the mine too. Well, that's the thing, Danny. You can descend through anything short of a sheer cliff face, but you can't even jump one foot off the ground. You cannot jump at all in this game. So it swings and roundabouts in that oh, regard. My head feel thick. By the way, despite all those calories we got, we still don't carry any extra food that we can put to use, so it's not like we have entered easy modo in terms of calories. Can you put a rope on that? I bet you can. I bet it's an easy way up and... Well, easy way. It's a way up and down if you put a rope there. Alright. Didn't I leave myself goods in here? Yes, I did. Oh my god, I do not need 19 more bits of coal. But I do want the dusting sulfur, the crisps, the pry bar, and... Uh, I don't think I want or need any of that water. But I'll take a liter of it. And then we're going very slowly and painfully to the other end of this coal mine. Then we're going to ditch our stuff for curing, take a good old sleep, and then we're making our way back through Crumbling Highway. And we're going to restock the shelves in our store. We are not lugging around 24 charcoal. We're lugging, lugging one charcoal. We're lugging 24 bits of coal. Don't, don't scare me like that. I'm not making the charcoal mistakes again. Although I do think I'm carrying a lot of stones. It's okay. We really skipped past uh, Crumbling Highway. So I do think there's going to be some corpsey love for us over there. That's what I'm hoping at least. As I, with one spare hand, try to move around my pen and paper of goods and also grab the map for Crumbling Highway. I would love to find the magnifying lens. Finding the mag lens means I won't be reliant on matches quite so heavily, because on a clear day I can just start a fire using that. But we're not in mag lens territory yet. Someday we will be. Did I already check you? Of course I did. Wouldn't dream of passing by a corpse and not looting slash nibbling it. I check you? Yeah. I have a sneaking suspicion that I did not check under you. But now I have. Well, that's a shame. I thought I would be right at the end and I could light up the rest of the way, but... Nope. Can all the goodies from Desolation Point really be carried in one go? Uh, kind of. It depends if I find anything good in Crumbling Highway, but the only thing that I'd... Oh, right, no. Uh, maybe. If I had the Moose Satchel, things would be easier. But I don't. I might have to part with some of this coal. It's really weighing me down. 24 units of it's a lot. But I would like to make my way back to the shop with quite a lot of it. I need to go back for the battery. Hopefully not. I'm really hoping I find another battery in a much better location. But if we've got a battery, we got a battery. Right. There's stuff here. Oh god, there's all this scrap metal here on top of that. Also, I can't see, but that's okay. Holster this. Ditch everything that needs to be cured. So... Deer hide, deer hide, guts, 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 hide, hide. A lot of saplings, a maple sapling, and we still... Oh, right before we sleep, we need to, in the dark I might add, continue harvesting. So you've got guts with my name on them. Don't cut your fingers now, Shepherd. And you've got a hide with my name on it. Might seem a bit excessive, but I... Oh, it's another Aurora. Okay, well, thank goodness we are already committed to sleeping in here, because I don't want to deal with Aurora again on Crumbling Highway. That's cruel and unusual. 
Alright, where's our other rabbity friend? Harvest you for your hide with my bare hands. I can't wait to have a knife to speed this up. We're also getting kind of hungry. I'm really hoping to find a corpse out there. Guts with a hacksaw. And that's the end of those rabbits. Make sure that we drop this stuff. and We're going to be so heavy coming out of here. It's very tempting to... In fact, in, in the interest of actually being able to move, I'm going to ditch uh, 10 units of coal in here. But we also need to sleep. So down goes our beloved sleeping roll that has helped us out so much. And I really need to... I really need to um, repair this poor thing, because its warmth bonus is significantly reduced from before. Satiate ourselves on water. Tempted to eat some pork and beans just to keep the calories up a bit. The pork and beans are fine because we did, uh, we did find these outdoors, so yeah, I'm just going to eat these right up. We'll be sleeping almost all of those calories away, if not all of them, and then some. Uh, and then we just sleep for as long as we can. We'll wake up fully rested, almost certainly. But hopefully it'll be daytime, because I do not want any Aurora nonsense. Well, the Aurora's probably ended, because there's no, um, no funny light business going on here. So let's grab all of our stuff. Bedroll, uh, drink up all we can. Not fully though, I don't like drinking up fully because there's... Jings, all the metal as well. Teas help with the water, so why get fully drunk up on regular water when I almost sure certainly I need much more. to drink tea along the go. Right, this is okay. Uh, you know what, I do want a bit more of this coal. Maybe we can grab, like, another six of them. Oh, wait, did I take or deposit? Oh, yeah. We'll leave behind six bits of coal. The rest of this is coming with me, despite the impact on my movement speed. Right, let's go. There are almost certainly... Oh, yeah, the wolves immediately. Oh, but he's taking care of the uh, the rabbit. Get off of that rabbit, my friend. Uh, my friendly rabbit. I already stink to high heaven, so grabbing this rabbit won't make much of a difference. There's barely anything on him, though. While I'm in here, I think I will just harvest the meat off of you, because it's only going to take a few minutes. Mm, oh boy, it still took longer than I can really spare. Um, I can't actually drop you here, funnily enough. It's a little risky, I already want to fire. Um, Feels like minus 18, but a little bit of coal. Looks and like so a new day is dawning. I was hoping to do this by a corpse, but obviously I see no corpse, so let's just slam this down. Do a stick. I'll cook up the rabbit, I'll cook up some tea, and then we will more warm get moving. Animals don't fear fire at all during an aurora. The only thing they fear is if you shoot them in the face. Fire's life out here. Right, let's begin cooking up this miserly amount of rabbit that we found. Let's pop on a wee bit of coal. Wow, okay, let's pop on a second bit of coal. I'm so cold here. Cook up uh, some good old rosehip tea. 
anything I can do while that's happening. Could always prepare some more rose hips. And get a lot of heat back when I'm inside here, which is nice. Yeah, it's not a lot of calories, but it's still calories. Mm. You know what, actually, it's it's nice to just sit in here and get a bit warmer thanks to that fire. So I'll sit in here and make some mushy rooms. Just regaining some heat. I'll pop out, warm up some tea, and uh, drink the tea to get the tea warming bonus. Of course, I will be using the fire to defend myself from nasty wolf kind. Mm. Alright, this should be fine. Cook ourselves up. Oh, actually, let's do it with this. You and you. Cook up some rose hips, please. And cook up some more rose hips. Prepare these. And then I'll drink one of the. Well, hmm. I'll take them both and I'll drink one very soon, pretty much as soon as this cold starts caning me. Which won't take long in a situation like this. Oh, I shouldn't be this picky on my torches, come on. Ooh, but that's a very nice torch. Glad I was picky for you. By the way, I didn't stop to see if there were rabbits or anything around here. If there are... If there are then I shouldn't be destroying this fire as horribly as I am. So let's hold off for just a moment and have a quick look. Jesus, they like me, don't they? Get away. Now, I super stink, so... Uh there's no escaping how much the animals love me today. Ooh, how does this work? How does this work? I know there's a building with a basement that I need to check out around here. But there's also a kind of island over there. At least the stuff on the island I'll be able to take and use. The basement less so. Uh, I'm already getting very cold though. So, I'll drink one of these. The heating up bonus will stop us from taking too much cold damage out here. Oh, the stink mechanic is for real. Look at the top center of the screen. There are two little smell marks there. Uh, three, rather. That indicates how much you stink to the beasts, and that's entirely indicated, or that's entirely affected by... Did I check this cave on the way out? Entirely affected by you carrying... Uh, uncured guts and meat. Meat stinks more if it's raw, I believe. Maybe this is the bear cave. I recall going past and going, ooh, ooh, it's a bear cave. Not this one, though. This one has a backpack, so it wasn't this one. It's also got something at the back there. Learn how to dress my kill. Uh, heavy, heavy firewood. We are so heavy. <laughs> 48 kilos. Good thing we're... Um, would it be worth just stopping and having a fire to warm back up here? Possibly, but uh, now nah, we're going to go into the basement soon. And if there's a corpse, I'll be lighting another fire and warming up with that. Still glad I have loads of torches. I know they're heavy. But I take them because fire truly is life in this game. In fact, if you decide to play this game and do a fireless run, your death is inevitable. Because without fire, you cannot make water. You will eventually die of dehydration. I can't feel my feet. And that you will not escape. Wait, I, I hear a... Uh, you, what are you eating? It better not be property of the Canadian government. 
Step aside, Wolfie. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whew, that was close. He didn't give two hoots about me aiming at... Normally, if they're feeding and you aim at them, they, uh... Oh, oh, it was complete. That's why. It was actually completely finished off. That's why he didn't give a Damn. hoot. Freezing. I'm having a rough time of this. Is my... Is my, uh... Stuff still hot. Now, what do we have over here? I don't think I've ever checked this out. I don't have time like the present. Let's try not to break our ankles. I might need to run given all the wolves around here. Not even shelters in the wind, what a rancid place. My fingers feel numb. I know, I know, Shep. Alright, some kind of cave. Cave is cave is good. Ooh, body is good. Uh food is also good. Pork and beans again. Not going to be a lot of pork and beans in our emporium at this rate. Uh, right, I do think it's a clever idea to start a fire and just warm up a bit here, because we're evidently feeling the breeze. Or... I'll have a quick look. My map tells me there might be a corpse around here. I'm not ashamed to say I am being assisted by that, because I don't know these places all too well. The map has tricked me. There is no corpse here. But there are mushrooms, and we can eat mushrooms by way of soup, and there's lichen. I do like how angry Shepard sounds in this. Shepard is not his name. People have asked me, oh, is, is his real name? Commander Shepard? No, of course not. I'm calling him that because he shares the same voice actor. Right, just just a little bit. Let's get back here and warm up a touch. It only feels like minus two, so no biggie to start a little bit of a little bit of a fire. I might even warm up and eat my pork and beans here. Yeah, same for the female character. I think her real name is Ast... Well, her her name in the extended Long Dark lore is Astrid. The man's name, I don't know. Well, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness indeed. Now let's warm ourselves up with... Probably just a bunch of sticks. Now, nah, one bit of coal. One bit of coal would be plenty to warm us up right here. And where are my pork and beans? I should forget my pork and beans. There's. Uh, how am I doing on the waterfront? Oh, pretty low, actually. Well, I know how to change that. And I know that I just got the making for more mushrooms. Yeah, there we go. A bit of coal helps so much with warming up. That crappy old took we found. I think I will tear it up. How, do I have any bandages? I have two bandages. Two should be fine for just about anything that gets me, but I would love to have another two bandages. God, the wind out there is fierce. When in doubt, harvest sticks out of torches. The sticks from a torch burn a whole lot better than the regular torch does. I do have a pot Zerid. I'm just not using it here because I only have one, and I prefer to have universal, uh, uh, yeah, universal cooking times between what I put on. Just makes me feel better. You know how it is. Otherwise, nothing really worth my time to make, especially not a torch. Maybe some more old man beard dressing. I only have one. Get 
that, get that. And yeah, let's cook up our... Cook up our pork and beans. Banged up pork and beans. That'll give us the warming up bonus and the calories that we need to keep moving. I am shocked at the lack of corpses found around here, though. I'm sure there'll be something, but... Uh, not the herbal tea, we like that for sleeping, but some racial tea. Nah, rosehip tea. So, pastime, chow down. Mm, 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 mm. And that should give us a warming up bonus as well. Yeah. You're coming with me, you're coming with... Ugh. Now that's pretty, pretty gash, so let's take one of our slightly better torches. It doesn't seem much better, does it? Anyway, off we trot. We're heading back up from here. I hope there's a route back up from here. How do you, how do you get back up from this? I hope this wind isn't so much that puts out my torch. Let's get back over here where it's sheltered just in case it does. Yeah, yeah, you get you get spooked by that. And he runs off just the way that I'm planning on going. Well, if things go really awful, I do have a flare. A flare that is legitimately mine. Actually, a lot of flares that are legitimately mine, because we made the pilgrimage to the memento box. No, no, don't die. <laughs> Keep running the way I'm trying to go here, Wolfie. This is why we have these conflicts, man. Right, I need to get back up. There is a car. I might have already checked the car. I can't remember. But there is a basement with some goodies that I need to agonizingly slowly haul back over to where I'm going. Upsa daisy, upsa daisy. This torch is uh, on its last bloody legs. I don't think walking the dog is all that bad, really. It's just if the dog is in my way, then I'd rather have it spooked so I'm not getting too close and risking uh, risking conflict that we know doesn't end well for me. Kimono seems a little too excited for some long dark. It is a pretty great game, though. I am amazed, actually, at how good it is. When I first played Interloper about a year ago, it didn't take much. I just blasted through it, survived like a week or so, and went, wow, this seems awfully easy. I don't think there's much to this game. And then I dropped the game. But little did I know that you... Oh, I have checked this. But I didn't pop the hood, the cardinal sin. If you've checked a car, pop the hood. Sadly, no battery in it. At least that would be a much closer place to bring a battery from. Right. Anything I find outside here is fine. But I do need to go into this basement to see if there's anything for my shop. Now, what I could have done for this run is not included going into indoors even for looting. Uh, wait, where is the basement? It's around here somewhere, right? you. Uh, I could have trimmed down the list of things that I need for my shop and not gone into indoor buildings at all, but I wanted a bit of variety in the run, and seeing the indoors is quite nice, so I'll grab my list and add another tick to spray paint. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Three spray paints now. Making note that we cannot use them. Not that I'd be using spray paint, god no. Time is it? Oh, it's a good time of day. Good time to make our way back. Hello, yet another pry bar. I can use this. Maximum um, durability as well. I don't actually need another pry bar, do I? Oh, that's sorely tempting. I want that. Okay, right. Uh, Jerry can times one. Socks times one. Ah, uh, hell, let's take the pry bar. 
Uh, that means it's pry bar times two, right? Where did I write pry bar? I did find a pry bar, right? Did I not write it down? No, I think I got an indoor pry bar, didn't I? So one of the pry bars is from uh, indoors. Or rather, I got an outdoor one, I think. Oh god, now I'm not sure. But it's not on my list. You found a mine pry bar. Oh, okay, that's fine. Then it's mine. But the 100% condition pry bar was found indoors, and I absolutely cannot use that one then. But we'll have it on display prominently at the shop. So anybody who wants to face a new life of crime can start their new adventure inside my crazy emporium. Did I not take? Yeah, I thought I took it. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, maybe I didn't. I leave it behind? That seems odd. Or are you saying that I left this one behind? Oh, whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Thank you, Marvin. Yeah, yeah, I would have felt quite the fool. Because then I would have gone and thought that the pry bar that I had on me there was uh, not allowed. Heating up bonus is gone. I'm going to be losing heat now at a reasonable rate. Although, is my other cuppa still good to go? It is still hot, and so it shall be drank. Okay, this is pretty good, assuming that I get back alive. Um, I didn't get my warm-up bonus. It must have cooled down as I was drinking it. I've never seen that before. Right, as I'm trying to say, we should hopefully never have to return to Desolation Point or Crumbling Highway. If for some reason we're desperate for coal, it's not the world's worst thing to make a trip to that coal mine because it's going to spawn another bunch of coal in something like 10 or so days, I imagine. But you'd think we'll be able to find coal in other places. There are other mines. Can't feel my hands. Again, with the complaining shepherd, we know it's cold. You're in Canada. You did this to yourself. I heard an excellent AI voice take of uh, the elusive man talking about all the war crimes that should be committed on Batarian scum, and I wanted to play it during this at some point, but I couldn't. I couldn't find it again. I wonder if somebody's archived all the fun AI voice stuff that's been made, but I guess by now a ton of it's been made. My life. Mm, I will probably light a fire and warm up inside the car. That means less of an investment. I should be able to do it with just sticks if I do that. Three out of three possible carcasses, and none of them spawned on crumbling highways, says Marvin. Well, that blows. Of course, I could always make a carcass. I could spook a deer into a wolf, but... Yeah, it can take time and finesse, and we're too cold to have time, and we're too overburdened to have finesse. Well, it matters not. Back to Coastal Highway we go, and I do think I'll warm up inside a car. Well, inside the car. I super stink still, though, and it's going to be a little dangerous for a while. But as long as the weather holds clear, the fire that we have in our hand will keep us good. Time to give Morrowind a try with AI fully, but oh my goodness, did someone actually go and do that? They really front load the voice acting on Morrowind, so you think, ooh, fun, but then beyond that, it's very little voice acting. I should be treating condition as a resource and letting it burn out a bit, but I don't... Which way is the wind blowing? Until I have better protective gear, I really don't want to be doing that. Alright, over here is safe, so... Down you go, just start a little stick fire. Figure out how warm it is inside the car, and warm up inside the car. I don't know if there's anything I can prepare. I could make that uh, old man beard stuff. Come on. It worked. It did work. Put that away. It feels like minus 12. Minus 12? That is a fair bit. Should I just shove on some coal anyway? I think I will. Um, cook up. 
Is there anything worth cooking up right now? I would say no. Although it's always worth cooking up water, right? That's what I do. Get us a liter of water here. Enter the vehicle for the super extra warmth. I'll get rid of hypothermia risk. That food's, uh, food amount of mine is going down and down. I really need to find a good source of food. It's a shame I'm not better at cooking because then I could happily eat loads of um, predator meat. But actually, we're almost at level 4. Now that's good. We hit level 5 and then we will be able to probably just solve the hunger issue permanently. Because predator meat will be something we can eat to any degree. And Shepard's already thinking about how much he'd love some food. Hey, I still have you. I mean, I suppose I could gut you inside this car. But I'm a, I'm a little very hungry here. I want another one of these anyway. Oh, that's right. We've got loads of cattails back at base. We shouldn't worry about uh, food. We can just go and carbo load on those. Well, if that's the case, don't mind me while I harvest your guts, my friend. Just mostly doing this to warm up, so this is okay. No one's going to begrudge me making some rose hips while I'm here. No. Bad dog, go away. Actually, I don't want to hang around here any longer because the weather is great. I should not, uh, I should not be too much of a chancer here. So let's get that, get that, get you. Uh, you're all right, and let's go. Although, you know, never say no to the odd stick. The only thing I'd be willing to really stop for on the way back to our beloved base is a corpse. Yeah, I would take a corpse and carve it up. Although even that's not without its risks. I'm not too worried about being stalked for a while. Besides, if there's a an animal that I can lure you into, you know, like a deer, then hey, free free dindins for me. Is that a corpse or is that my old... I think that's my old fire thing that I set up next to a corpse over there, so we will not... will not partake. First, you need to kill a predator. Well, that won't be hard because we should have the makings for a bow all ready and cured for us back at base. Getting really hungry here, though. i drink that cup of tea of mine. Good. Oh, hell, let's spook the dog. Hopefully you run away again. Not the way I'm going, you mangy mutt. Stupid dog. Gotta be very careful not to accident. Ooh. Why don't you grab the bleeding rabbit for me? Oh well. Let's not worry about the rabbit right now. Although the meat and hides and guts would be nice. We have cattails aplenty back at base. Although, I still need to get back to base. Just a little bit around this bend upcoming though, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know where I am. Although, wasn't it in this area that I got bared during the... Oh god, I feel that wind picking up. That's bad news for my fire, especially since I triple stink. Yep. Okay, right. If it comes down to it, uh, marine flare. That flare flare so hungry in my life. is uh, strictly for the shop. 
But these marine flares I found uh, outdoors. Okay, I'm really looking forward to stuffing my fat face with cattails when I get back to base. Yeah, I'm more than a little concerned about that food, but don't worry, we are working our way towards uh, the good food economy. With a little bit of shredding, I could actually fast forward my way to cooking five, and then we're really going to be set for food. Come on, Shepard. I'm so glad I didn't take that 15 kilos of car battery. I would be a lot slower than this. Come on now, I can practically see the, the base from here. A little worried about the calorie situation, though. I've only got 163 calories in my belly here. Can't really afford to run. What kind of game is this? Survival? A very pure survival game, E. Carini. There's no zombies to build a base to, uh, to fight down. No survivors to gather up and form your community with. No aesthetic buildings to build. It's just you and the bleeding cold. You'll need to manage your body temperature, your awakeness, your hydration, and your food. And that's largely it. But managing those things works together in a great way for the game. To escape this cold. For example, I am bollocking freezing here. And just a few more minutes out here, I am going to start taking health loss due to the cold. But just around the bend here is my shop. The one building that we are actually allowed to spend any amount of time in. Okay, I have I am out of calories here. I desperately need to eat something. Um what can I even eat? I think this reshe this herbal tea I think is the only food I have which I didn't just find. All the tomato soup, all the crisps. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, this is getting worse before it gets better. Hopefully we can just walk the dog, although I did want to drink my tea. I don't want to lose well-fed. Right, quickly now. I'm going to drink this, even though it's cold. I just needed a few calories out of that tea till I get home and I can eat my cattails. Easy does it now. Of course, the wind is making life even worse for me. I stink so bad. That's why Wolfie is just gunning for me so quickly. Gotta keep my eyes on him. If he guns for me, this flare is coming out and being shoved in his face. I'm now freezing. I'm almost starving. But that car right there is practically where my base is. Oh god, we're slowing down something fierce because of this uh, wind. I'm going to get the other side of this snow dune in the hopes that that shields me from some of the wind. There we go, moving slightly faster here. Seventy calories. <laughs> Where did I leave my cattails? Please, no starvation. 50 calories. Thirty calories. for much longer. Oh boy, we just, just, just caught it there. We're still apparently, oh no, oh no, I lost, 
I lost uh, well fed. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, that is terrible. That's five kilos of uh, carry capacity just gone like that. Curses. On reflection, I could have drank that cup of coffee just to keep me going. But oh well, such is how it goes. Ugh, as painfully heavy as we are, that's okay. Because we got a lot of goodies here. A heck of a lot of goodies. And a lot of things that we've left behind here are curing very nicely. So we're going to do a little bit of organization while we can. Uh, where's our cured guts? Oh, these are all cured, 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 cured. Cured deer hide. Oh, wow, lots of cured deer hide. That's nice. In that case, cured, 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 cured. Fresh deer hides go over here. Couple of these. Rabbit pelts. Cured, cured. And I drop down the not so cured ones. Fresh, 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 fresh. That's still curing, that's all curing. I'll figure out the rabbit carcass shortly. Is this just all guts? I think it is, so the guts are down here to cure. I will harvest you for your final bit of hide. And the cured rabbit pelts go right here. One, two, three. Wow, really only three? Should be able to do something with that soon enough. Ah, oh, man, I can't believe I lost welfare. That does sting a bit. Right, cured birch saplings is all well and good, but there's always another sapling. And this green maple sapling needs to be ditched as well. A. Hey. Okay, as so we still haul around this excessively heavy load, it's important that I now drop all of the stuff that I definitely need to stock this store with, so I never confuse it with my own stuff as well, although the books will... yeah, whatever. Um, right, that includes this wool scarf, uh, one bit of cloth, yep. Some dog food, actually, the, yeah, over here. Food can go over here. Some dog food. Two wet stones. Two books. Three books, in fact. Books will be at the top. Book, book, book. Uh, three cans of spray paint. Which means one of these is okay, but it's not like I'm going to use any of them anyway. Um, tomato soup times three. I'm just doing it in order of what I've written down here. Newsprint times two. Newsprint times two. Uh, yes, th here we go. Oh, uh, well, come on, it's not like I'm going to use any of those myself. 36 matches. Bye. 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 Oh, it's painful to lose. Oh well, I can put them on my get some food soon. Put them on my display here. Don't worry about the starvation damage, that's very small. Um the ear flap, another painful thing to part with, but away it goes. Uh the flare gun. What does that come under, under these things? Where's my flare gun? Ah, there you go. Bye-bye flare gun. One can of soda. Actually, it was flare and flare gun, so I need to drop this flare too. The archery book. It's a shame, I, I like the archery book, but... Where is it? Here we go, stay on target, away you go. The food bar. Uh, one of the coffees, not the 100% one. I know I cooked that one myself. 
Two bags of crisps. Ah, oh, what? One of these bags of crisps we found outside? Really? I don't believe that. I believe I found all three of those indoors and probably didn't take proper note of it. One of the painkillers. I don't know which painkiller, just take the biggest bag of them. And the dress shirt. The stim. The jerry can. Oh, I'm glad to get rid of that hefty thing. And one pair of socks. It's a, it's a shame to lose the socks. I could have done with another pair of socks. And uh, pry bar. The 100% pry bar, specifically. Oh boy, that's a lot to drop down. Now, I if I can drop any of this let's gear. do the only sensible thing and have these out on display. Spray, ca spray paints over here, because I hate them. Now you might think this is taking a, a fair bit of time, and I suppose it is. What's this? Is a tin of food? But aesthetics is important to me in this run. Yeah, it's kind of important to have a can opener next to all these cans, isn't it? And once I'm done with this, I'm going to update my um, my lists. All right, our crummy library grows ever more. Painkillers for the drug section. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting to that one, squeaky fan. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could find the AI voice and use Commander Shepard and say some stuff with him. Right, I don't know why we're keeping our clothes in the bathroom, but we are. For now. Dog food. <laughs> Keep the dog food near the human food just to confuse would-be shoppers. Everybody needs a cup of coffee every now and then. Especially Canadians. I mean, Baron and Lucky are two Canadians I know, and they both love their coffee. To a kind of pathological degree. What's this? Tomato soup. In with the other of your tomatoey brethren. Getting somewhere with the shop. I thought it would take longer to for this to take off. It's a shame... That you can't so easily manipulate items. It would be nice to stand them up, but I guess that's not something they want to add to the game because it would probably change their change how the game feels right. Headgear up top. Oh, that's right. I was trying to follow some kind of logic for where things go, but there's not enough space for these giant dress shirts. on the floor for now. Nice spread open book. I'm gonna need a bigger bigger library. Whetstone. Whetstone can be here with our other friendly whetstone. Precariously there. Oh, the ear wrap. I will miss this ear wrap. There's apparently a tool to create AI voices from some game voices. I be interesting to see how the um, legislation goes for that. I'm sure someone wants to fight against this AI. Uh, what's this? Another pack of matches? Yeah, it's kind of a shame to have so many matches that I can't use because outer loping for matches is an exercise in pain. Flare. I've got spaces for flares here. Nice. More crisps. This is really starting to come together. I'm quite happy with this. Pry bar over in the DIY section, I suppose. Jerry can makes you hard to see, but can I just sneak you in here, Jerry can? There we go. When all this blows over. People are going to be coming from miles around to spend what little money they have here in my shop. Oh yeah, this cloth. Um, I will probably want this cloth to do up some of my clothes later on so they're all in tip-top shape. Even if this stuff spoils, it will still be here. Thank goodness. Whereas if I stored them inside a container, 
That would not be the case, I believe. Alright, where'd the gun go? The gun's a pretty big find. I think it's only safe that we have it right next to us here, so if anybody starts playing silly buggers with us, we can show them what's for. What's this? Oh, another can of juice. There we go. The stim. Ooh, now these are going to be important. Keep them in the drugs corner. Whetstone over here in the DIY corner. And uh, very conveniently, we're doing all this while there's a storm, while well, a blizzard going outside, so it's not like we're really wasting a lot of opportunity. Still all this coal on display, but there's still stuff I have that I want to drop and have on display, right? How about this firewood? I do want to have a selection of firewood available. Maybe next to where I'll keep all my books later on. Um, 14 coal, although we did get a little dinged for not using enough coal. I'm still only going to keep six coal on me. I'll start stacking coal up in here. Um, probably also going to still stash a lot of my cattails in here. Uh, I'll starve for now, but I will want to work my way towards well-fed again. The dusting sulfur. I forgot all about you. Certainly do not need you. I don't need to dress my kill. I do want the... No, I don't want you. Christ, no. I want the sewing premiere. I don't know how long I have to read it for. Five hours, but I will read that because sewing is important to get skill up for. Move all of you over here. Um, a hacksaw. Sounds like a DIY item to me. Yeah, this, this book collection is getting out of hand. I might, I might have like a floor library elsewhere because they take up too much space on these. Dusting sulfur, that's kind of a DIY item. Seems like a you're trying to make your home explosives kind of item, but these are Canadians. Some of them must be descended from the Irish. Uh, how long have I had you on me? Mm. Of course I need to make it quite clear to people that I am armed and dangerous. The Flare gun is not just for show, although it is also for show. Uh, I wouldn't actually mind loading up my existing light with that. I can only keep one marine flare on me. They're quite heavy, and how often do you need more than one get edge jail free card? Besides, we're bound to find more flares as we go along. I'm sure this seems quite tedious to some people, but I rather enjoy it. It feels good doing this in a game that's definitely not built around doing this. Uh, this pry bar is dying on me, and I don't really have the wherewithal to be repairing it, so I'm going to leave it here, next to the other pry bar. Um... These are light enough, I don't mind carrying them around. I do want to harvest this at some point. I'll add this recycled can to my recycled can collection. Mm, gonna need the scrap metal where I go. What's outer loper versus interloper? Uh, outer loper means I cannot enter buildings. Now, you might notice that I'm currently inside a building. This is one exception that I'm allowed because the goal of this run is to restock the shelves in this uh, in this shop. But aside from this place, I cannot enter any other buildings. There are exceptions, but uh, those are listed in the link that I have in the title of the run. Right, anything else? I think I've dropped everything in this shop that I want to leave in the shop. Thankfully, I still have the technical backpack carry capacity bonus, but mm, still feel a little heavy. Even so, even so, I really need to get out there and start working on food. This maple sapling just needs another day, I think, and it will be good to be turned into a bow with all these guts that I have. What I think I will do is I will spend a considerable amount of time crafting here, and then I will go out and carbo load and sleep and try and hunt for some food around here 
And then as soon as I have this bow, I want to go and start mulching everything around me. But that I will do at a later date. For now, though, I'm going to... It's a little dark, but there we go. Actually, I can get rid of the GUI for this, can't I? Options, not controls, certainly not accessibility display. Hard to type. Off. Get rid of the saving, and there we go. That's a nice one to update the, the thumbnail with. Not something I often care about, but now I want it so that people with keen eyes will notice. That goes back to always on, and we'll call it from... Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to leave and re-enter because the game saves on transitions, but not always for some reason. Also, we can admire how obscenely horrible it is out here. Also, how I need to harvest this carcass. Hunting is hard. Nah. Okay, so it's apparently saved. We'll call it there. I will be back with this at a later date. I don't know when that date is, because I am traveling again tomorrow. I'm going to some weird mountainous valley elsewhere in Japan. Whether or not I can stream from there remains to be seen. Don't know how good Ryokan internet is going to be, but until I am back... With more Long Dark, more Caesar 3, and more whatever else, it's a cheers and cheerio.